Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's broadcast of Trinity Valley Community College Cardinal Football. And today we have the number seven ranked Trinity Valley Community College Cardinals coming in today's contest with a seven and two, five and two mark versus the number 12 Navarro Bulldogs at five and three, five and two for this Southwest Junior College Football Regional Semifinal game today. And guys, uh, and well, just first, everybody, I'm joined in the broadcast booth today by Mr. Marcus Dow, yo, Benny yo. Rogers, Aaron Scott Production, and Jonathan Sk uh, Snowden on the camera. And uh, we are bringing this live to you from SHN Sports today. Uh, we're happy and thrilled to be here. And uh, Benny, the 104th meeting between these two schools. Yeah, it's long and a storied rivalry for sure. But the thing about it is, Joey and Marcus, the thing that matters, that matters most, this is playoff time. It's, it's win or go home now. It, right. Exactly. It's a semifinal game here. We'll and go to basketball. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, some of them may go to basketball <laughs> yeah. now. you got dual athletes that play different sports. But uh, the winner today actually we get the winner of – Kilgore and New Mexico Military Institute beating. And, and if the Cardinals win it, it would be here. I, yeah. if, if, if the Cardinals win and the New Mexico Military beats Kilgore, the game would be here next week. And, and okay. we're certainly rooting for that. Um, <laughs> that would be and, the ideal scenario for the Cardinals anyway. Yeah, it would probably be ideal for us too because <laughs> that press box is very, very small up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so Miles need. and the guy would be uh, would be challenged with that one. But uh, Always looking after number one. Oh, that's, right. that's right. Not to. <laughs> we don't need none small. For sure. Not well, today Today's game, uh, this will be the eighth meeting between two quarterbacks on separate teams that battled each other in high school as well. Dane Yinch for Navarro Junior College and Darion Peace uh, for Trinity Valley Yinch from Grandview. Of course, uh, Darion Peace from Malakoff, Texas. And it, it's become a very heated rivalry, Benny. Most definitely. Well, it has. And this, like you said, it's the eighth meeting. Dane Yinch won the first four, but Darion has won the last three. So Darion's got a chance to even it up today. And how he would love to do that here in the semifinals of the region, four, I mean, the Southwest Union College Football Conference playoffs. Yes, sir. It, I think today's game pretty much hinges on. Um, what Darion Pease can do, do for this Cardinal offense. 
We're going to take a break quickly, and the national anthem is playing, guys. All right, folks, that caught us off guard just a <laughs> little abruptly there. I wasn't paying attention to the time, so that's on me. But uh, that was the playing of our national anthem and by the uh, Cardinal Regiment Band yes, and a great rendition of the national anthem by the band as well. So uh, jumping right to it, uh, Navarro coming here again for the second time. And as we always talk on the Cardinal Sports Network, it's very hard to beat a team twice in a season. But – Today, I, I have to give the edge to Trinity Valley in this ball game today coming in because they've already played Navarro and, and, and pretty much shut them down. Right. Um, I, and I won't say totally shut them down, but you know what we thought was a, a, a going to be a high-scoring affair in that first half ended up being a 7-3 first half when these two teams met yeah. just a couple of weeks ago here at Brucefield and Athens, Texas. And, uh, you know, that turned out to be a slugfest in the second half. And, we all know the final score on that one. My goodness, and it was um, 41 to 24 being the final score. So it went from a, a defensive juggernaut in the first half to an offensive explosion in the second half. For Trinity Valley, you would hope that the Cardinals get off to a quick start. And, you know, for Darion Peace, it's imperative that he gets off to a quick start, gets his confidence built up early on. That way he carries through the rest of the game with him. And I think another important factor in this game for Trinity Valley be the Trinity Valley run game with Quincy Thompson and Hyman Drinkard and Clarence Dalton. But, uh, Benny, what, what's your thoughts on, the, on what the Cardinals need to do to get started today uh, in this contest? Well, here's what I think the key is, Joey, is I think the game is going to run through the two quarterbacks, and without question it's going to run through the two quarterbacks. But on the other side, the to token is the defense has got to step up and play. We've seen the Trinity Valley defense time and time again this year answer the challenge when they needed to play against a, a, an exceptional quarterback, yep. and that's going to be the key today, in my opinion, because Dane Yens, as we, we all know, can beat you both at the, with his arm and with his legs, and especially with his legs. Yeah, I mean, he's the leading rusher on the team with 548 rushing yeah, yards. that speaks for itself and, right and there. <laughs> and, all, and all those weren't scrambles. A lot of those were design runs. Design right. runs. We saw some of those last time the Cardinals played Navarro here at Bruce Field, and you know, Coach Mark McMillan, I, I, I think today he has the upper hand on the Navarro offense. And I say that, but I, I think he's one of the best defensive coordinators uh, probably in the country uh, at scheming up plans to stop opposing offenses. And uh, I, my bet is with Coach McMillan today on defense. What I've liked about the Trinity Valley defense all year is the, how smart the secondary has played. Yes. We've seen them jump routes, read right. routes. There's been, there's been some communication breakdowns, of course, but there's, like you said last time we were here, there's never been a perfect game played by a defense. Right. Right. And, right, and, you know, one thing, too, I'd like to add, that was the big question mark coming into the season was the secondary. And, man, I, I, statistically, Step they're up. leading the conference in a lot Step of categories. Up. and. My goodness, I mean, you've got to love that. I mean, last time, well, Casey McCoy has 81 tackles, uh, four sacks on the season. Kobe Kendricks, two sacks. Joe Sniffen, 70 tackles, four sacks. One fumble return for a touchdown. Joe Sniffen has played out of his mind this year yes, he uh, carrying this team. Uh, Cameron Blaylock has four sacks, seven tackles for a loss. Quadrell Pat. Two interceptions, the big guy with two interceptions. <laughs> That's amazing to me in itself that he has not won. But, well, most of the time those guys and, never and, get and done. And if you remember, they were both very athletic plays. One was yeah. on a scoop on a dive, and I forget the, the game it was. The ball yeah. was 
hit the receiver on the ground, uh-huh. and he came up and came with the ball. The other, he in midair. He he, yeah, he, in he mid-air. reached up over that big paw of his yeah. and brought it down. And, that, and did he make a, a touchdown? Tell, uh, did he make a touchdown? No, 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 no. Just the two interceptions. He tried to rumble in the end zone. He was, <laughs> almost he was thwarted yeah, for yeah. Isaiah Crosby definitely in the secondary leads that secondary with five interceptions of the season. But look at that number, how many sacks the Cardinal front seven has. Yeah, 37. 37. That's yeah. crazy. Uh-huh. That's and Navarro has 10 less with 27, yeah. which in – most circumstances be you know pretty good, <laughs> yeah, but well, Trinity Valley with thirty seven and well, Navarro ten, ten behind them. Though. Yeah, Navarro points the game uh, allowed twenty four point six points per game allowed. So Trinity Valley had them on last time with scoring forty one. So the Navarro defense is pretty stout and, and they can play themselves. So uh, the, as far as Navarro offense goes, they're averaging three hundred fifty nine point nine yards per game, and Trinity Valley's <laughs> averaging four hundred thirty eight point nine yards per game, uh, and Trinity Valley's given up 324.4. So you look at these teams, they're very similar yeah. uh, in what they try to do, uh, and, and the stats will speak that too. They do. The Cardinals are averaging 33.1 uh, points a game, and the Navarro's averaging 29.9. But look what the defense is giving up. The Cardinals 22.0, and Navarro 24.6. So it's a standoff. It, yeah, it's oh, basically a standoff. <laughs> we, we're, we might as well be playing this game at the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> but the big Alamo. The, the one thing I look at here for the Cardinals, especially rushing, uh, Quincy Thompson, 92 rushes, 511 yards, four touchdowns on the season. But listen to this stat here. Hyman Drinkard, 65 yards, uh, 65 carries for 452 yards and six TDs. Now, that is not as many carries, so that tells me that Hyman Drinkard is the explosive back of the bunch. And you know, not saying Quincy isn't, but right. Quincy is your bruiser. He's your bell cow runner. And, and Hyman is the versatile running back, too. Look at his receiving totals there. He's caught yep. 10 passes for 249 yards, <laughs> yeah. two touchdowns, including a 91-yarder, if you remember, yeah. on a wheel rack. Yeah. Exactly. So, I dare, to, I, I dare to say this. I, I think it is super, super, super imperative that Hyman Drinker get his get the ball. Uh, they get the ball to him early and often as possible and let him do what he does uh, with his athleticism. But the Cardinal offense today, and they have struggled with this at times this year, they need to go on long, time-consuming drives. We've seen them do a lot of three and outs this year. Now, they've gotten away with it and been able to disguise it and, do, and come up with some big plays. But, again, a game like today, you want to gobble up that clock. Yeah, yes. and it starts with the offensive line, I believe, for Trinity Valley. You've got to be able to control that offensive line or the defensive line of Navarro today, which it, we saw last time was hard to do at some, at some points of that game against them, and especially in the first half. It was a, a defensive battle all the way through in the first half between these two schools. You know, we haven't said anything about the weather today, Joey, but it's cloudy overcast. It's 58 degrees. Very light winds. I don't think the wind will be a factor at all in this game. Uh-oh. And uh, it's just a perfect day for football. It feels like a football for Saturday afternoon. It does. and it, It's fall. Uh, thank goodness <laughs> it's fall. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to get out of the hot weather. I don't like the cold weather too much, so right now it's just right for me. And I, no one cares what's right for me, I'm sure, but uh, I, I do. I, I yeah, care a lot. The Marcus, Marcus, it's all about Marcus, you. Marcus and myself like to be for you to be happy. Yes, sir, that's all. Just be happy. <laughs> don't worry, be happy. So, Marcus, uh, you know, Fellow running back, or not yes, fellow sir. running back. I, I like to think of <laughs> hey, myself. Thank you. I, thank you. What did I miss in y'all's career? <laughs> I, was like, thank you. I, I, went, I went all the way back to flag football. Is what I, went to. I used to be a running back in flag football, believe it or not. Uh, I thought I was Barry Sanders. But, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> but, no, that Marcus, feel good. You, you, were, you were running back, of course. Yes, and, sir. And tell us how important it is to uh, get that running game started today. And, you know, we, we talk about this a lot, especially in high school, but we talk about it in college too. You like to give the guy with a hot hand the ball right. as much That's as right. possible, and he gets stronger the, each and the more every you, carry. Yeah, the more you feed, the more aggressive he gets, the more strength he gets. And, hey, just feed me the ball, when I, and, and, and hey, I guarantee you, I'll, I'll put some yards on the ball. Uh, it, on the wrestling. And that's what these running backs are, are thinking, too. Give me the ball. Yeah, feed, <laughs> give, feed give, me, yeah, see more. Give me the ball because, believe it or not, running backs, and I know you were a running back, yeah. you want that ball in your hands because you me. feel like that you can make something happen. And, exactly. And, and hopefully the offensive line will create some holes today for these two running backs. But Hyman Drinkard has a very, uh, I, I say unusual, but it's not unusual, it's athletic type of thing about him where he could just make himself skinny in the hole and right. he's not really what you would call maybe a running back probably more of an athlete 
where he does everything. Like you said. Uh, but he can play the running back position, the receiving position. Rayshon Glover has came on also this year, 21 receptions, 369 yards, four touchdowns. He's your other big play threat right. uh, for the Cardinals this year, Rayshon Glover. And I actually have – Love what Rayshon Glover has done. Uh, Mario Buffins, another one that's came on the scene also. 15 catches, 239 yards. And, and some of his catches, let me say this, kept drives alive in mm-hmm. the past couple of weeks for the Cardinal offense. And, and that that has been – he's been an intricate part of this offense here in the second I, – I call the second half of the season, but midway through in, in the late part of the season. Well, he came up very big the night down at Blinn when you guys down at Brenham. He yep. got some, had some key yeah, catches in that when the, when the Cardinals were able to close out that win. He, he certainly did. And, and Lamond Henry also, I, that's another guy that I like too, but that's defense. But uh, – uh, just, that was just in my mind right there to say that, to give the kid a little credit. But uh, it, it, Jaquan yeah. Loman, also Ladarius Fair, both those guys coming up with some big catches, especially last week. Uh, well, the thing about the Cardinals, Cardinals is you've had, you've had 19 kids catch passes this season. That's right. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of balance there. Like said, yeah, 16 it, it, others. Yeah, yeah, and then you look at Navarro, and there's not a lot of balance, balance there. Uh, you, you've got two guys uh, right. receiving, uh, Brian Spotwood and, and Braylon Finney. Uh, Spotwood is probably the main target. We saw that last time that Trinity Valley played Navarro. Spotwood having 38 reception, receptions, 462 yards, and one touchdown. But he was their go-to receiver for Dane Yanch anyway. So I think we're going to have the uh, coin toss here for Navarro and Trinity Valley. We're about to get this thing started. We're about four minutes from kickoff, folks, and this is going to be a doozy of a game today <laughs> here at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. Definitely going to be heated, Joy. Well, I'm excited. Hey, yeah, they, they had a couple of skirmishes last time they played, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the skirmishes, but every once in a while it kind of gets the blood flowing, <laughs> don't it? Yes, well, it's Trinity Valley and Navarro. You're going to yeah. have some of that. Highway 31 rivals. That's what it is. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. <laughs> highway 31 yeah, rivals. Highway, well, you drove up it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't but I couldn't it. think of it. But I couldn't think of well, it. What Marcus they just it. drives now. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. don't know where he's going. <laughs> so, Joe Sniffin, Braden Guillory. Uh, also, Micah Cooper and uh, Kobe Kendrick are captains for the Trinity Valley Community College Cardinals. And I know Dane Yinch is a captain down there for Navarro, along with Lane O'Dell. Uh, looks like 66 as well for Navarro, if there is a 66. And there's not. Uh, the was Braylon, Braylon Charles. Yeah, Braylon Navarro Charles. Navarro deferred, Joey. So they deferred to the second half. So Trinity Valley will get All the right. ball to start things off. And that's interesting. Navarro wants to put their defense up front, so they've got a little confidence and maybe something in store maybe, for the yeah, Trinity Valley yeah, offense defensively. Yeah. We'll see because we are about to get things underway here. And Ooh. I tell you what, the Cardinal band has stayed on a lot longer than I, I thought on the field. The plan. <laughs> They'll have to get off in a minute because we're going to have kickoff. No, they said they got three minutes. Can't <laughs> stay here, but you ain't, ain't got to go home. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We have they, a replay of that Stanford game <laughs> many years back. Joe, they're looking at the clock. They got three minutes, five seconds left to stay out there. They said. Well, they, I, I tell you oh, what. Oh, the clock is stopped. They got to get off. Uh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got to get off now. And, yeah. and I'm sure that Coach Poteet will help them off. And, and the band played on. Yeah, yeah the band played, played on. on. So we, we saw them down there eating their sack lunches before yeah. we came up today. And yeah, they didn't want to share on nothing. No, no. But, Joy, you've touched on it. It, it. it really boils down to what the Cardinal offense can do today. They've got no. they've got to show here at the very start that they're going to be able to move the ball against that tough yes. Navarro defense. If, if they do, we know we you can count on the defense. We know we know that much. Yeah, and Trinity Valley still has a, a, a shot at making the playoffs uh, for the, or the, the, the national, national playoffs. playoffs. So, oh, wow. yeah, if this they run, if they run the gamut and run through Navarro and say Kilgore next week, they have a chance to be in the top, top four, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that that could be very, very big, big for game, Trinity yeah. Valley. And so, man, we are looking forward to it. Already a good crowd showing up from Corsicana, or all I guess all over the United States, because yeah. these players just aren't limited to one town. They come from all over on these small colleges like this, and in any college program. But they do bring a big crowd. Navarro's got their band over there, so yeah. it may be a battle of the bands Uh-oh. today. Oh, battle of the bands! Got man. a big time feel to it today. It does. It really does, and I, I like this yeah. feeling. I love it. Ooh, yeah. So the Cardinals will. Start off with the ball in their hands on offense. Cardinals, red tops, black bottoms, black hats. I like to look, guys, in the black numerals. And Absolutely, I can see those yes. numbers really good. It's easy on the eyes today. <laughs> I tell you, baby. Darion Peace, see what he got in store today. Yeah, we'll see. He's going to come out first. And 
for Navarro there in white tops, red bottoms, and red hats. Kind of an old school look. Old both, school. Both teams going back old school today, and I like the look. Speaking of Clarence Dalton, Joe, I see he's out there and ready to rock and roll. From yes, that he is. He darn sure is. And Rayshon Mumphrey back deep. Also, number seven, Laryl Howling. Howling with one interception uh, the last time these two teams played, too. Yes, sir. Mind you. Got to protect the football today in a game like this. The turnovers can be the deciding factor. Yeah, and I'm just glad it's not raining today. We put up with that Friday or Thursday night. In course of Canada, by the way. Yeah, in course of Canada. Oh, whoa, yep. Yeah. So the number 38, Brandon Perez from Crandall, Texas, will tee it off the left-footed kicker for Navarro. Mm -hmm. It's a short kick. He said not today. He's not kicking. Oh, oh Arnold's going to have to get on this football. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. You never, you never let it hit the ground. Oh, my that goodness. That was kind of scary there. Yeah, that's going to be a penalty um, as uh, number 26, Rayshon Mumphrey. He just lets it go out of bounds. It, it, that scared I, me a little yeah. bit. My nerves <laughs> got on edge maybe on the he first play. Maybe he thought somebody was behind him, I guess. I'm, I'm, I don't know. But, well, he gauged it right. Great starting field position at the 35, though. It, yeah. So the Cardinals now with good field position here. <coughs> and Darion Peace, the Malakoff High School product, will lead the Cardinal offense out on the field to play here at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas, on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon for college football. Yes, sir. And getting the start in the backfield will be number four, Quincy Thompson. Trinity Valley is going with a four wide receiver look. Three to the left, one to the right. Ball spotted on the far hash mark. Let that go into the early, Joy. We'll, we'll see what's going on here. Let's see. See what Navarro has their safeties not too far back. So they're expecting run. And there goes Peace calling his own number. And Peace now takes the ball for a nice gain across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Brought, brought down by Bryce Sink. A nice seven-yard run on that RPO play right there. And that yes, time he made a great decision to keep it. He saw the defense, read it. The hole opened up, and he exploded for seven. Second down here. Quick pass on the flats. It was read perfectly, but breaking away from the oh tackle my. is number 11, Guillory, and that is a Cardinal first down. Good Brandon. start by the Cardinal <coughs> offense. Two big plays to start the game. I'll tell you what, the Cardinals, uh, Guillory just wouldn't go down Nothing. right there, yes, and that sir. was a great – Reception, but a great run after the reception. My lands. Braylon Charles was able to stop the tackle, but hey, he couldn't handle him. Back to pass again. Guillory again. Nice block on the edge. And Guillory inside of Navarro territory. He'll be marked down, I believe, at the 40-yard line. That'll be good enough for a Cardinal first down. Well, the Cardinal oh coaches have definitely seen something in the Navarro film that they've seen. Yes, they sir. feel like they can attack. And they're Yeah, they're going up-tempo too, guys. Wow. Thompson now with the carry, and Thompson is going to be hit, and that's a little RPO right there. And yeah, nothing up the middle. Met by Eddie Thompson. Vernon Henderson also, number 90, I believe. Yes, yeah, nine. we saw Vernon Henderson have a big game over here back last month when the yes, he did. played here. And that, they're, they're uh, three defensive linemen are just huge. They're, 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 <laughs> they're run stoppers. In low to the flow. They're grown <laughs> men. Peace. Little three-step drop back. Looks left, throws left, caught and completed. And close to a Cardinal first down, and that is Caleb Johnson, another wide receiver for the Cardinals who's had a great year. Look and Darion is getting that ball out of his hands real quick today. Yes, he That's is. exactly what you want to see from your quarterback is getting it out as quick as possible against this fast Navarro defense. Back to pass. Pass complete again. Ooh. And that is – Mumphrey on the reception, or excuse me, Rayshon Glover, number 25. I'll tell you what, the game plan is definitely working, Joy. Well, they're going up-tempo here. Navarro is trying to sub people in. They just can't do it fast enough. To, and those big guys got their hands on their hips already for Navarro. They're tired. <laughs> Great game plan so far for the Cardinals. Two wide right, two left. Peace is going to pass it. Has that safety valve, but he may run now. And Peace maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but I thought he probably should have gave it off to Quincy yeah. Thompson just a little bit sooner. He was surveying the field, but sometimes just dump it off to your big guy, let him run, so you don't have to take that punishment. Our bases just run out of bounds, Joe. You don't need to take those big hits because people live to hit the quarterback. And once Quincy got covered up, he did a great job of uncovering, but by then Darion had already committed to the run. Yeah, he committed right. to the run. and So no gain on that play. Second down and ten. Cards are in field goal range right now. In motion is Palomo. Back to pass, Peace. Peace under duress, throw has to away. throw it away. Throw That's that a away. good decision. Good yeah. Applying pressure that time was Charles Daniels. Yeah, they set the bless that time. Old Daniels from. First Lamar third University. down of the day for the Cardinals. 
Yeah, first. Well, sure, so minus yeah. the third and one that they had. <laughs> yeah. So third and ten now, which is the longest third down they've had today, as many points out, and let's see if the Cardinals can do it or get a little bit closer. Peace back to pass. Pressure coming up the middle. Peace rolls to his right. Looks downfield. Has a man Got wide it. open in the end zone. Caught. Complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. Just like that. Rayshon Glover. Rayshon Glover, baby. The glove. And the Cardinals have started off red hot, just like them uniforms. 19-yard <laughs> pass. Yes, sir. And what a play right there, 19-yard pass from Darion Peace. Beautifully played right there by Peace. Great job by the offensive line. He showed line, great patience in the pocket. Yes, he sir. did it. And how about Glover running that route? I mean, he was just all by himself on that route there. A little corner route, and he comes down and high points the ball, and just, just that easy. Ty Powers comes in now for the point after. Low snap, but Powers gets it up, puts enough leg under it, and it is good. And with 12.06 left to play in the first quarter, really? Lightning has struck fast here at Bruce Field, <laughs> and the Cardinals are up 7-0, to zero, folks. You're watching Trinity Valley Cardinal football on SHN Sports. The guys and I will be right back. Yes, sir. All right, folks, welcome back to Bruce Field. Trinity Valley in this playoff game has taken advantage 7-0 on a 19-yard pass. I believe it was 19. 19-yard pass from Darion Hall to Rayshon Glover. Yep. And, uh, well, that, that one almost went <laughs> out of bounds. And yeah, the, the barrel punt, or kick returner picks it up and gets to the 25-yard line before he's spilled there. That was kind of a tough decision to make there because the, def to the defender's defense, that, that, that ball, I'm not sure it was going to go out of bounds because it hit so softly over there. Yeah, it did. It, it almost like it just planted right there and didn't move, and Ty Marsh had to make a quick decision to pick that up and run with it. Well, I tell you, Kyle Williams was right there waiting for him to pick it up, Joy. There was a penalty, no penalty marker on the field about the 37-yard line. This might be off sides against Trinity Valley, yeah. and it was. I was expecting Navarro to take the five yards at the end of the plot run. Give him better field position there, yeah. You're taking it at the 31 as opposed to a tension and a return that you might fumble on it the next time around. So both teams getting good field position to start off their drives, and we saw what Trinity Valley did with their first possession. It was a touchdown. Let's see what Dane Yinch and company can do for the Navarro Bulldogs. Empty backfield set for Navarro. Man in motion. It's going to be a little quick hitter out there to number 19. And a nice little gain for Navarro going with the quick pass. Luke Ferguson right there. And that is uh, one of Dane Yinch's favorite targets from Grandview, Texas, Luke Ferguson. We've seen him catch a few passes over at Tiger Stadium in Malakoff on Friday night. Oh, yes, we have. David Tui with the tackle. So Ferguson and Yinch hooking up the familiarity with the two receivers, or quarterback receiver combo. Looks that way again. Oh, wow. Wow. Throws downfield, has a man oh, wide wow. open, and that is a nice hitter right there to Brian Spotwood, their leading Ooh. receiver. Well, you caught it before the game started. He's the number one receiver on the Navarro offense. And Spotwood had one touchdown last time the Cardinals played, and Man. He hit him right in the spot. The barrel's yeah. going up tempo. <laughs> Real quick. So, guys, I think this game is reversed from what we thought last time. <laughs> Good. Right. The inch back to pass steps up in the pocket. He will run. He will be sacked. McCoy Casey makes the tackle. Yes, sir. Casey on the stop. So, yeah, last time we predicted this to be a high-scoring game, and it come out in the first quarter, first half. First it half, was low scoring, and yeah. now it's turning out to be – well, if they score, it'll be, I guess, quick, but – I guess I'm a little excited. This is a big game. I, I really hope the Cardinals pull this one out. But big game here for the Cardinals and the Bulldogs, actually. Second down and 10 now. The inch will have a back in the backfield. It looks like, well, now they're going to go wide set, empty set formation here. And they're saying right now they can't run against, are not going to run that much against the Dirty Birds. 
you know, in a wrestle, they're going to let Yinch throw the ball. Yinch throws it, and th oh, that was an my. offensive pass interference Hold and not up. called there. <laughs> Whoa. My goodness. All the coaches came out to fill it in. Well, you've got Trail Riley out there pleading his case to the officials saying, hey, man, what about the offensive pass interference? And I'd agree with him on this one. Uh, yeah, like he pushed them down. There was contact. Rolled so, up like a horse. Third down and ten now. Key third down for uh, – not only Navarro's offense, but Trinity Valley's defense right here. Oh, that's convert we need into the red zone if you're on offense. Got to watch uh, Yanch here with his legs also. Trying to move Spotwood in motion and get him free. Yanch rolls ahead. right, looks right, throws it, and the ball is caught, but out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Yes, sir. Brings it fourth down. Decision time for the Bulldogs. And that was Braylon Finney, another one of his receivers. They put him in motion trying to create a mismatch for the secondary and just get him rolling there and could not do it. Nice job by the Cardinal defense of bowing its neck. Yeah, you definitely go for the points here any way you can. Yes, so. no doubt about it. So a great job by the Cardinal defense to bend but not break. This will be Perez coming in to attempt a 34-yard field goal. Ten minutes, five seconds left in the first quarter. Score seven to zero. TVCC on top. There's the kick. Plenty of leg. I believe it's no good. Whoa. It is. Whoa. He pushed that to the left. All right. Now, Dirty Birds do and it look, again. Look at that Cardinal defense coming yes, off the sir. field. Happy and hype. And that's a jubilant Cardinal defense right there. And the Cardinal defense holds. And well, I tell you, if you're Navarro, you got to be a little frustrated right now because you drove the ball so efficiently downfield right. and fast and then couldn't get any points out of it. Oh, my. And that's just what you want your defense to do right there. Of course, they had a little help from the kicker, but uh, <laughs> missing that one. But. But they put the kicker in the position to do that, though. Exactly. They sure stop. did. Ten minutes even left in the first quarter. Yes, Cardinals up 7-0 here in this region. So I'm sorry, Southwest Junior College Football Conference regional semifinal. Here we Quincy go. Thompson in the backfield. Peace the quarterback. Cardinals go with four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Ball in the middle of the field. Andrew Allison in motion. Hand off to Thompson. Thompson over the 20 to the 21. Tough yard gain. Yeah, just one, and that, that was a <laughs> that is a tough yard. <laughs> That's a big ball there, huh? That's Henderson on that tackle. And I, and I still think that Hyman Drinkard comes in here. You know, those big guys up front are hard to move for Navarro on the defensive front. I think Drinkard might pose a more problem for Navarro defense. But here comes Thompson, and just as I say that, Thompson gets a nice little gainer. He'll make him a manageable third and five. Lane Odell with the tackle. So a nice run there by Quincy Thompson. Empty set backfield now. Thompson's going to line, line up as a wide receiver here. Pressure coming off the edge from Navarro, I think, coming here. Yeah, they're bringing one from that left side. There's a pass. Caught oh. incomplete. Oh, my. And a nice Good run sake. after the catch. Uh. I always like Caleb Johnson on that reception, but Caleb's got to get up field quicker. Yes, sir. <laughs> it scares me going east and west. <laughs> yes, sir. That was a great tackle by Charles Daniels. So the Cardinals again connecting on third down. Cards going three to the left. That, that was close to being offsides. Fires it in the middle. Caught incomplete to the tight end. What about and this perfect Ladarius start by Fair. Darion hey. Pace throwing the football right? He's now. very poised. It, it looks like he is just seeing the field yes. really, really well today. It does. It sure does. And, and sometimes you get in those zones, and, and it opens up. Yes, it's like sir. it's like a, a hitter in baseball. That ball becomes bigger, bigger and bigger, and bigger. Yeah. the more of a streak you get on hitting that ball. So the Cardinals with four wide receivers. Pace back to pass again. Looks downfield. Throws a crosser. Woo. That Great. should have been called. Should have been caught. Yes, sir. Had first down yardage, too, if he catches it. Liddell, I mean, Lane Odell with that stop, but yeah, that Conroe. Was, but that ooh. was fair right there that dropped the ball. It was a perfect throw. Yes, sir. We're in the hand. Now Loban and Glover come in as the uh, wide receivers <coughs> for Trinity Valley. Navarro's going to have to do something to get pressure on, on Pace because he's standing in the pocket and just picking them apart right now. Yeah, and a great job by the offensive line keeping him clean. Back to pass. Pace steps up. He's hit. He gets it away. Uh, oh. That's where Darion gets in trouble sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I just I just thought that maybe the receivers could have come back a little bit more after right. they, they saw so Darion uh, getting in trouble there. But And that was Vi Vi uh, Byron Henderson on that tackle. He was from South Oak Cliff. So, yeah, he's a hard hitter. 
Nice job by the Navarro defense of getting the Cardinal offense off the field. Yeah, you had two two wide receivers in the same wide spot over. on that far yeah. sideline for Darion. So I think there was a mix up uh, in routes there by the wide receivers. But uh, give Navarro's defense uh, credit there because they put the pressure on Darion Pace to make him throw it away. The thunder from down under. Allen gets a low line drive kick. It'll Good take kick. a bounce Woo. for Trinity Valley. Oh, it hits the very player. And that ball that's, is going to be Trinity Valley's. Oh, my. Look at her. Tim what Burns, a play Tim, right there. Tim Burns got lost track of the ball. Davion Scott with the recovery. He was alert. Saw the ball bounce off the back of the re the punt returner. Picks up the football, and it is Trinity Valley football. Yes, sir. Scott with the ball, baby. My land, special teams play again comes up big for the Cardinals. What a good play for a first down for the Well, I, yeah, that Cardinals. gives them a great first down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like throwing a 70-yard pass, Marcus. Yeah, I'm to a trick play. First down and 10, the Cardinals had the ball on the Navarro College 11-yard line, and Peace comes out guiding the Cardinals on the field of play. Got to get seven off this. You can't settle for a field goal uh -huh, here. Yeah, yeah, Most take definitely. The seven. Two receivers now. You got a double tight end set on the right. Thompson in the backfield. It's going to be a run play or a pass. Well, it's going to be a pass play in the corner. Go oh. oh, great defensive play right there yes, by Navarro. Yeah, that was a uh, Tim Burns. Yeah, Burns on. He didn't get burnt, did he? No, he he went up and high pointed that ball, knocked it down like a little great volleyball play. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm not sure that was Burns. That was number 28, who I think. Oh, was it 28? We, we don't have him on the roster. Oh, yeah, we that's, don't have him. Yeah, that's why I didn't say nothing. I just definitely like that. Well, we'll like, call okay, him. We, can we'll, we can call him Burns then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that pass was intended for Dylan Robinson. Peace back to pass oh. again under duress. Rolls right. Has a man. Oh, fell, fell down in the end zone. Uh. I think their feet got tangled up with the defender. Or, man, oh, mercy. That was almost. Loman wow. got his feet tangled up with the defender. And now Navarro. Third and ten. Navarro defense bowing its neck here. Rashawn Glover comes into the game. Let's see what he got, Joe. Well, Loman flashed over the middle open, and Peace saw him, and he was going to try to get it to him, and then he just slips down. So now Trinity Valley, this is a must pass for them. Four wide receivers, two right, two left. Here comes pressure. <laughs> Pressure coming from the backside. He's got to get rid of it, and just throws it away. Great job there by Darion Peace. Yeah. Yeah, just a lot of pressure dialed up there by the Navarro defense from uh, Darion Peace's backside. And so the Cardinal offense going to the air three straight times on that possession. Yeah, that was kind of surprising there. It will bring on field goal, field goal try by the Cardinals. Ty Powers going to attempt about a 28-yard field goal. Yep, Powers with a 28. And, you know, when you get in that red zone like that, you know, the passes you were hitting in the open field where you had more space to work, it becomes very little. And that's what happened right there for the Navarro defense. They we're, shut it down. We're in pretty good shape right here. I think Todd Long is his 45. Powers kick is up, and I believe it is good. Yes, sir. And with 7.31 left to play in the first quarter, the Trinity Valley Cardinals go up by 10 against the Navarro Bulldogs. And, folks, you are watching SHN Sports Championship football here in the playoffs. We'll be right back. Toronto's kick is a high end over end, but short kick and uh, fielded at the 14 yard line. Navarro with a nice return out to the 28 yard line. A little hot potato there going on. And now yes, here sir. comes the flag and here comes the chippiness. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're going to throw them early today. Yeah. Can't do that. 
Just, it just, just cost your team. Yeah, Michael Williams, they've got to keep their composure today. <clears throat> See, one of the officials signaling that somebody grabbed somebody's face mask. Uh oh. Yeah, and you really don't want to do that. And you don't want to get in this type of ball game. Personal foul, unsportsmanlike conduct against Trinity Valley. That'll be 15 yards. And, and whatever that, player that was charged against, well, now if he gets picked up another one, who would be ejected from the game? Mm. You get two. But it gives up 15 yards of field position for your defense. Yeah, you just don't want to have to have that. And Man. We Keep talked about drive killers, but this is a, a <coughs> this is this is a drive helper for Navarro <laughs> on that. Seven minutes, twenty six seconds left in your first quarter. Your score is ten to zero. Cardinals on top. So Navarro now coming out with one back in the backfield, four wide receivers. They're going to try to throw against this Cardinal secondary, I believe. They are. And in motion. Oh. Yinch just tucks it up and goes left, and he's only going to get around <laughs> two yards, and he's he was, clobbered. He was not gently taken down. No, not at all. <sighs> yeah, that was 31 there for the Cardinals. Noah, Noah Flemons. Flemons. The Flems. He's had a good season for the Cardinals. Yes, sir. He's not a flimsy tackler either. He gets in there. Short gain of two by Jens. So second and eight for the Cardinals. I tell you what, Navarro, the front of their jerseys are just not readable from here, yeah. but the back, they have big numbers on it. The inch with a handoff and, oh, it's Cardinal defense. Ooh. Man, great play right there. And Pat. Terry and McCoy right yeah. there. McCoy in the house. It just looks like that Navarro doesn't have a true running back. Cardell Pat made the initial contact for the Cardinals, I believe. But you're right, though, and you, that bears out. But if you look at who the leading rusher is, is your yeah, quarterback. quarterback. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Big third down here for the Cardinal defense. Big stop, big stop right here. Empty backfield set, five look, wide receivers. Look got somebody offside right there. Look like. We have. They, didn't call they were lined up offsides anyway. Got From the backside, sacked, and what a play that was right there by McCoy Casey. Mr. My Casey. goodness, he made a house call on Yance. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he didn't even knock either. He didn't even knock. <laughs> didn't didn't, knock. didn't ring the doorbell <laughs> either. Nothing, just went in. That's his fifth yeah. sack of the season right there. That's called breaking and entering. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir, that's what it was, breaking and entering. Yeah, I tell you, now the, uh, the Vero Bulldogs will have to punt this ball away. We've seen it from the Cardinal defense all season, folks. James Ingham, another Australian kicker from Melbourne, Australia. Whoa. Oh, I thought they got in there again. And we've seen him punt in pregame, and he's got a nice leg. That was good hang time. It'll give Trinity Valley the ball around the 16-yard line. So I, I kind of question that decision not to field it because it looked like the ball was going to take a significant right. roll to the goal line, but it took a side sideway turn. He must have knew. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure. What. Got a flag down across the way. This may be against the Pharaoh, but I'm not sure. It's a late hit or something. It's the official decision to push. They're going to get them to stay on top of it early, which I would advise the officials to do to slow down the game, but legal block in the back. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they wouldn't give him the business. He just hit <laughs> just a legal block in the back right there. Yeah, just touched him in the back a little bit. And still, that, that hurts the field position for the Cardinals here to start this drive off, but they are up 10-0, 527 left to go in the first quarter. It should be half the distance to the goal on this mark off. A little slow marking it off, ain't they? They yeah, are. They're kind of taking their time. I got a calculator. I was looking to see if maybe Hyman Drinker, <laughs> might, Hyman Drinker might be coming in. It's about his time in the game to be making an appearance. Oh it's drinker time. Oh, boy, yeah. McCart Casey with that big sack, Joy. Like you said, he has five sacks. For the season right now. That backs the Cardinals up to the eight-yard line. Penalties, penalties, penalties. Yep. It'll hurt you. Well, Cardinal offense has to get something going here. I mean, I know they've got ten points on the scoreboard, but, I mean, they need to get the defense a chance now to catch his breath because the defense is playing outstanding right now. Do you maybe take a shot right here? I will take a shot. I, I think uh, Cardinals might try to throw it deep here. Mumphrey, Let's see. Rashawn Mumphrey's checked into the backfield as a running back. Kid from, young man from Alto, Texas. 
There's pressure being uh, sent. This is going to be a handoff, and he's Mumphrey the, with the ball. He's the speedster of the bunch. Yes, I'll tell you what, if he breaks free, he's gone. <laughs> he liked to win, too. I like the play call right there. It was conservative, but effective. Yeah, four yards is a good enough pickup on first down, though, for sure. Exactly. New wrinkle here and another handoff. Around that right corner, man, I tell you what, he didn't get any yards on that run, but he's sure fast around the corner. Yeah, he had to give him a lot of ground, though, just to get to back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, well, they're going to mark him up. They're going to give him a yard. See, so. just like that, the pressure's back on the Cardinal offense. Exactly. To get, yeah. Get, stay on the field. And the Navarro defense is doing a really nice job considering how how, many, how much has this been on the field thus far. Well, I think that penalty really affected the play call. And there's a pass downfield caught. And, oh, oh, my goodness my. gracious. I spoke too soon, Mr. Oh, Dylan Robinson. Oh, my. Sure-handed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was, and first for the for, first down, too. It was, oh, oh, my, my. goodness. You but. can't miss a ball like that in this type of game. Darion oh, threw it before he made the break. He was yeah. perfectly thrown. Yeah, right he knew he was going to make the break. He made the break, but he, he couldn't make the catch. Hit him in the right place, Joe. The hands. Yes, sir. But you That's see what Navarro's done? Navarro has flipped the field now, and they're, they're, yeah. the Cardinal defense is going to have to defend, defend that same 50 yards he's been defending. Well, let's see if James Allen can put that Australian leg into this one and give the Cardinals some decent area to cover here on the punt. And that's the end over end kick with a nice bounce. They and got Cardinals the Cardinals finally got it to, <laughs> they're going to down it at the 46 yard line. Yeah, it's a great field position great. for Navarro. Once it again. is. They got to make the defense work hard again. They, they know they're tired right now. But they got to keep bringing on the pressure. 10 to 0 here in a close one, folks, at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. Your Trinity Valley Community <coughs> College Cardinals on top. 10 to 0, the Navarro Bulldogs. Highway 31 rivals here playing against each other in the 104th meeting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Southwest Junior College Football Conference Regional Semifinal today here. You win, you go on, you lose, you got an off season. Well, Navarro, <laughs> what do you say? Navarro leads the series right now, too. Yeah, Navarro leads the ser series 45 to 57 and 2. So well, that's okay. That's in the past. That's right. Long time Back ago. to pass is Yinch. Looks downfield, has Got a one. man wide open. Too much. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he, he just didn't get enough air under it. But just did miss it, but he, he was there. Him. Yeah, he, he had him. Sean Brown, their intended receiver, I believe, for Navarro, number 88. Of course, I think that's 88. That number in the front yeah. is not readable. Got to wait till you turn around. Yeah. And if, if it's hurrying in the way. <laughs> yeah. You are correct. It was 88. 88. Oh, my. Uh, favorite number of mine, worn by all the Cowboy receivers of the day. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, hey, 88. Don't forget about 22. Oh, yeah, 22. <laughs> yeah. Double do. Second down and 10. Inch back to pass. Ooh. Surveys the field. In trouble. Throws it downfield. Has oh, a man my. wide open. Oh. Caught incomplete. Oh, and uh, that will be number 84, Braylon Finney. Davion Scott with the tackle. Wow. And Finney just gets loose in that zone, sits down, turns around, and, man, I tell you, good job by Dane Yinch to see him and get that pass strongly downfield to him. Here come the Bulldogs. Yep. Out of the 21-yard line. So, Yinch, not so much using his feet today, using his arm, which both quarterbacks are. You're going to watch receiver out of the backfield right here. Wide, Wide open. open. I knew that was coming. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, man. Tyron McCoy from Waxahachie. You with could an see it. easy six. You and could see it coming, Joey. It's like they planned it. This, I mean, it, well, it I, I saw it coming in, out of the backfield. That's the linebacker's coverage because he went out of out of the uh, back of the backfield. Yeah, no, because he was yeah. the running back and no one covered him. I'm looking at the replay, Joy. The, the linebacker just kind of well, he, he went, yeah, went he went, went in. with the inside. Went with the he inside. Went, yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness, that was a too easy right there. Breakdown in coverage for the Cardinal defense. Brandon oh, Perez's kick is blocked. The Cardinals, this is a live football. They can run it back. Oh, oh my God. He trips on his own man. My goodness. Oh, man. He just can't catch a break. Oh, he should have threw it back. Well, he, he <laughs> there was about four Cardinals right there, and he <laughs> tripped on the other car. I couldn't see a number, but he tripped on his foot. I'm going to look at it now. We play here. That could come back to bite him. It certainly well could, and the Cardinals actually now still have a four-point lead. You're right, Joe. He was talking about his own player. Yeah. 
Stop me if you've heard this before. It's time for the Cardinal offense to produce. Yes. You can't have your defense continuously defending half the field. It's just, there you go. At some point, even the great defenses will buckle. That's right. Exactly. And, and you know, to your point, they've got to stop committing those penalties also that they're committing right now because that last penalty, to, in my opinion, was a, a drive killer before the drive began. It was. You're right, Joey. So Perez will – Tee it off for the Bulldogs after they get uh, a easy six points. Action pack first quarter, 10 yeah. 6, 347 left. Got us on our toes. Tell you what, a lot of people's. Nice in the crowd fans, here. Nice yeah. crowd here today. Sure is. Great football weather. My goodness, it's great football weather. Navarra has really brought enough, a lot of folks today. Yeah, they have. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I just looked out there. Man. Okay. Well, it's, a, it's a short trip, but not for some. There's a high but short end over a kick fielded at the 28 yard line. Still on his feet. Oh, oh he laterals it. To number 82. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Reggie Bush. I'll yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah, finally Loban gets the ball. <laughs> he's, trying to he's trying to explain the code now. I, I thought he, I mean, he was open. Sean Connor fielded it over the kick yeah. and then lateraled it off to Loman. He yeah. pulled a 007 move right there. <laughs> I don't know I advise that very often, though. <laughs> yeah. It did get them in better field position, well, though, I'll say. Yeah. There is that. <laughs> Four or five more yards. We'll take it. Looks but like one of Travis Kelsey's plays. <laughs> All kidding aside, though, the Cardinal offense has got to get back in groove now. Yeah, right. and they've got a short field, too, so this this is bodes well for the Cardinals if they can get something going. And Mumford is, remains at setback, the running back for the Cardinals. This is a long first quarter, too, y'all. Cardinals going four wide, three to the left, one to the right. Mumphrey will get the ball. And Nothing I, doing. I, I tell you, those Nothing guys doing. up front. I'll tell you that. Henderson from South Oakland. Braylon Cliff. Charles was there on the spot. Yeah. Well, they're, what they're doing is they're sending press, They're sending the linebackers also to help the front three stop that run. And, uh, man, I tell you, you've got to just uh, got to get those blocks. Yeah, Quincy Thompson's checked back into the backfield. Well, no Hyman Drinker. I wonder if. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Second down and 11. For the Cardinals, they're going to bring pressure from the backside. There's a pass complete. Got some room to run. Still refusing to go down, and that's uh, Jared Jackson. Bring up third down and about four, Joey. Odell with the tackle. Tell you what, Jackson, nice run after the catch, refusing to go down. He found that seam that there was there for the right. He, he did. I, I thought maybe he could get free there, but. <clears throat> Linebackers and safeties closed in pretty quick. Cardinals need to pick up this first down. I'm just telling you, they need it. <laughs> they need it right here. This will be a big first down. Four wide receivers here, a third and very, very manageable situation here for Darion Peace, the Cardinal offense. Peace back to pass, looks right. He's going to throw to nobody. Oh, my uh, goodness. I'd... Maybe it's like somebody ran the wrong route. That's what he's saying. Well, I, I think but so, you know. but. He's telling them. He just kind of gave up on it. Now, I don't, you can't do that. Yeah, the Cardinal offense is out of sorts right now. Wow. After such a great start in the first two drives. Yeah, I, man, that, that had me perplexed on that one. I, I just don't. It's something you don't want to see. Your punter's been very busy in the first quarter. That's not a good sign. Allen now will punt this ball away. and He's got to flip the field on the Bulldogs. Nice snap and a low line drive. He's trying to get that coffin corner in. About the, eight, about the 13 yard line. So pretty nice kick there by Allen. And it'll pin the barrel deep and they're only in now. So they'll get a little taste of their own medicine here. So Trinity Valley didn't get much rest on defense. That's right. That's so they're going to have to come out here and. Offense definitely got to put some more points on the board because right uh Yes, well, yeah. he's passing this ball right now. Ten is not enough to win this Ooh, one. <laughs> no. I, I, I I'll go out on every, every limb <laughs> yeah. that there is and say I'm that. You. I'm telling you. Again, you, you've got to watch that young man out of the backfield, McCoy, for Navarro right. because he's lined up as running back, but he's more of a receiver than a running back. Yeah, Navarro's running game is just really not the uh, the focal point of their offense this year, though it seems from a distance anyway. Yeah, Yinch may have 70 throws today before this is over with. Secondary has to step up the game also. Here we go. 
Out of the backfield again. That's right in the seam. Just sits down for the completion. Mathis on the uh, tackle. Braylon Penny on the catch there for Navarro. And right now, Jordan, you know, Navarro is comfortable with throwing that ball. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all they're doing. That's, that, that's, that's all comfortable. they're doing right now is throwing. 70 yards on first down is definitely in Navarro's favor. Yes. And, and they're they're taking what the defense for Trinity Valley gives them also. So kind of Trinity Valley in kind of a man zone look. Pass right there again in that zone, and he just sits down and catches the ball. Yep. Well, Yance will do that all day long if, yeah. you, if you give him that much time. That was Finney again on the catch. But, you, yeah, you just – I think maybe – uh, well, the mismatch may be there if you go man. I'm not sure, right. but it looks like they're playing a little bit soft there. One minute, ten seconds left in this first half. Ten to six. Now, Trinity Valley's. Lavero's going three wide receivers with a tight end lined up on that right side. Trinity Valley playing that one deep safety. Kind of a man press, a little toss out to 82. And a nice run. Oh, my. And that time he looks every bit of the part of a running back. Yeah. Navarro offense is playing with great confidence right now. Yeah, that's McCoy there on the uh, run. Davion, Davion Scott with the tackle. Yeah, Trini, yeah, you just can't get in that type of skirmish. you got to get back. You know, Blaylock trying to get in the middle of something there and – Got a bulldog shaking up on the play. Mm -hmm. Got the uh, offensive line, defensive line, trying to go mano a mano yeah, down yeah, there. And yeah. oh, the that's <clears throat> not who Navarro wants to see down, but uh, hey, McCoy. McCoy does get up though. He's walking off on his own accord. But yeah, McCoy got a big hit, Joy. They went head to head. Looked like. Looks like he's okay. He just took a big hit and. Get him to wash out, rinse out, and he'll be back in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryan Spotwood in the game now at uh, wide receiver. Cardinal Easy. defense backed up and down, defending 50 yards again. Yep. It's like Landon Thomas down the backfield, number 35 for Navarro. He's on the right side of Yinch. Trips to the right for Navarro. I said, but this. They've got to snap it before the quarter's over. And that was a big uh, run for the first runner play in the game. Going to be a pass again. All day. And Yinch is going to look for someone, but he's going to have to run this ball. And Yinch is going to be dropped for a big loss. Guess who? You already know. And McCoy <laughs> Casey. That's, <laughs> oh, he's all right. He just needs some water. So that'll be. Six sacks for him today, John. Well, you know, Yinch, he, in high school, he could get by with that, and then he could take off and run a long ways. In college, not so much. Not so much. That's it, and that's kind of hard for some of these quarterbacks that come up that are star players in high school and kind of has their way with defenses to get to that college level. When they get to the college level, everybody's faster than you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the one so, that you thought that was. Yeah. Be. So it's a big wake up call, and I'll tell you what, that was a. Uh, a big play by the Trinity Valley defense. 10-6 to six our score. Uh, we'll go into the second quarter here. But, uh, guys, so far, you know, they, both teams started out fast in the first quarter. 16 points scored in the first quarter uh, by both teams total. What's the second quarter have in store for us? Well, I'm not <laughs> sure, but it's, it's, it was a strange turnaround, though. The yeah. Cardinal offense started off with so much success and so much confidence, and then this, the Navarro flipped the script on them there the last half of that quarter. Right. Yeah, and then, the, and then the Trinity Valley offense just looked sluggish after that initial drive. Right. So I think now it's going to be second down and 16 to go for Navarro. Big loss. Do you dial up pressure right here on the quarterback? Well, they're going to go to the air regardless. you got to be, you gotta be careful with the inch, though. You yeah, can't, you, can't you don't want to dial up too much. You can't throw caution to the wind. Three receivers to the right for Navarro. Yinch back to pass, surveys the field. 
He's in trouble again. Hold Penalty him. marker comes in. That's coming back. And yeah. the pass is caught by McCoy, Navarro's McCoy. I've seen that holding right there. And that, yeah, that is going Hennessy. to uh, come back. That was a nice catch, too, and a nice pass, but uh, – it's going to be negated by this penalty. It would have set up third down and three for the Bulldogs. Yes, sir, Marcus Adams. Yeah, as Marcus from said. Jasper. Marcus said that was a holding penalty. Yeah. Now, if you're Navarro, you're really behind in the chains because of the penalty. Yeah, you are, and this makes it difficult for Navarro. But they're still going to throw the dab burn ball, and you got to watch them. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a, always a threat because they're going to the air. It was third down and about. What, 20, 30, 26 yards to go. Third and long, very long. No, actually it's second down, second and about 26. That was a penalty, so it, oh, yeah, 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 second down still stands. So trips to the right, one wide receiver left. Watch McCoy out of the backfield. There he go, he snuck up. There's the pass. Oh, my goodness, that's just giving too much up right there. That's Trail Riley on the tackle. flag here. I think this is going against number 12, uh, Jaden Jones yeah, for Navarro. He took a shot at the Cardinal defensive back, number 10. After the play. Jorio Washington. I think this is going to cost Navarro 15 yards if the Cardinals take the penalty if it's not a dead ball foul. I, I think right here you probably should, especially the way Navarro is throwing the football right now. You take this penalty, personal of foul. Course. Yeah, against Navarro, Benny was absolutely 100% correct. Take him back. Take them way back. That was just one of those little shots that you take thinking nobody's going to see it, and the yep. official was right there, the back judge was right there and just saw it. A great tackle by Whitehurst. Now he, he said dead ball, didn't he? If he said dead ball, then that's the down's going to count. So, oh, yeah, no. it, was, it was dead ball. I believe he did say dead ball. So, we'll be third down now and a long way to go. Yep. Ball is at the 28-yard line. Maybe I get to the Cardinal 41-yard line for so, the first down. So now Navarro having a having fairly good field position to start this drive, Two finding their self going backwards like Trinity Valley did. The Cardinals ago. can flip the field. The defense can flip the field and get the offense maybe some really good field yeah, position. Yeah. The Cardinal offense has got to wake up. I mean, they, if, they, if, they think, if they think they can set on 10 points no. and win this one, yeah. that's, pretty, that's a lot of belief in your defense. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of it. Maybe too much. Yinch, see what he can do here with the Bulldog offense. Yinch back to pass, surveys the field. Going to throw it to the left side in double coverage. Oh, almost a great catch, but in double coverage. And it's hard to fit a ball against Dave, uh, Sean Connor there in number 35 also. Braylon Finney was a receiver. I tell you what, Finney almost came up with it. I know, I know. <laughs> it still would have been short, though, guys, I, yeah. but uh, still. Well, well he, yeah, he liked the guy in there and got that one. But that was a great play by the defense because if he'd have made that catch, it would probably drove Trinity Valley back into, you know, far into their territory for the start of this next drive. Now, since it was incomplete, you're going to have pretty good field position, I think. Crossy back to receive for the Cardinals. He's dangerous. Perez just takes all the time in the world. This is returnable. 30, 40, 45. Can he get to midfield? He's trying and hit. By a host of dogs. Yes, you're the Cardinal. Oh, oh there's there eight flag. Somebody's going to go 15 yards. Yeah, I believe Navarro is, is going to get penalized. That was number 52 for Navarro coming in, hitting one of the Cardinals, Nick, Nick Wells, Wells, from well, Waco Midway. Well, Nick Wells. That will move the ball inside the 40 yard line if that's the oh, case. Oh, yeah. And, and you've got to score now. Oh, I mean, you, you have got to score and take advantage. And, and you're kind of putting the dagger in the heart, so to speak, right. here in the first half. You want to stay two scores up, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. One score up's enough if you, you know, but that's not a very much insurance right well, there. Well, you know, both teams can score pretty fast, especially we saw Navarro. So. Yeah, Navarro's not through scoring for the day. No, oh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> they, they wait for one slip up. I would hope they would be, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go, having a little powwow down here on the sidelines between the officials. and 13.46 left in the uh, – Second quarter, Cardinals up 10-6. 13-46, Cardinals up 10-6. They're going to talk to Coach Petit down here on the sideline. I guess they're probably trying to give him options. Right. The, op the only option to me is take that uh, <laughs> right. that penalty. and Well, if they, if they, it could be something different. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either, but Poe has not, not gotten animated or anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so it's going to go to his favor no matter yeah, what. He, he gave the point to the right, so the right hand probably takes some personal foul. Yeah, take him back. Yeah, against Navarro. Another personal foul against Navarro. Oh. Ooh. So double penalties there on mm -hmm. Navarro. Oh, I don't my. Think, I think he'd only step off 15 yards, though. I think, I well, think let's they hope they make a mistake and step <laughs> off 30. I think, they were giving, I think they were giving the option of which yeah. one he wanted to accept. Yeah, because they're both the same, so it really don't matter. Theoretically, I guess. But, uh, yeah, the, the step off will be a big one against Navarro yeah, you, here. You can't have more than a 15-yard step off. Unless, unless the one was a dead ball. So I think what they said, Benny, is one step off will be from the foul that occurred at the 37-yard oh line they instead of the 45. Yeah. So, yeah, the different spots on the field happen, so they'll take the one that's closer, and that puts the Cardinals in great field oh, position no, here. No question you've, you've got to score here. Red zone. My goodness. But we said penalties, 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 and turnovers. Yep. And now Navarro's leading in penalties. Hyman Drinker in, in the ball game there for the first are. time. There was joy. Change yeah. of pace. 13.46 remaining to go in the first half. And they're going to flare it out to the flats and a nice pass. Uh -oh. Nice catch. He breaks loose. Mario Buffin. He buffed his way through there. And we talked about Mario in pregame also having a Yeah, but a good credit game. Braden Gilroy with the block downfield, though, to spring him. It was a great block. Thank you, Benny. That was a, a credit well deserved there. Yes, sir. Let's see if Drinker gets it here. No. Peace calls his own number. Gets a uh -oh. block there. Peace to the five. Runs over defender uh -oh. down at the three yard line. <laughs> Darian Peace, what a run. He will not turn down a defender. I no, promise sir. you that. He ran over Tom Marsh that time for the tackle. I'm he kidding. makes me nervous when he does it, but I love him giving the punishment, uh, giving the business to Navarro there, so <laughs> to speak. Yeah, he does. Here we go. Drinkard time. Drinkard off uh, between the right guard and tackle on that run. Didn't get, but maybe, I think he's close to a first down, though. Yeah, it is. It's going to be third down and about a yard to go. Right Carter's got to pick Charles this up. Daniels. Do they do the tush push right here, guys? You got to do it. <laughs> I play fake it and have Darion keep it. <laughs> yeah. It worked the first time. Let's see what he does. Yeah, they certainly haven't been watching the Eagles because they're not doing the tush push. <laughs> so third down and a very manageable two here. Of course, this is four down territory if you want to. And there's a handoff to Thompson, and Thompson gets oh he lunged. gets the first down, I believe. Ah, uh, a little short, a little short. Give me fourth down and less than a yard. Ooh, I, oh you got my to, goodness! You, you, that, go, you got to go for this. I, I think you bring the chains out, don't you? you they, hardly don't, they don't break do that much anymore. <laughs> well, but I'm I'm like you though, Joey. It's close, and I, I would assume. I man, think he's got to get just inside the two though to okay. get the first down. Now this might be the time for the push. So Matthew Duncan, now oh. the Cardinals may have to call a timeout here. They got plenty of time. They got plenty of time. Seven. All right, just get you, it lined but you, up. But you don't want to rush it. This may be the old tush push here. We're mm -hmm. going to see the tush push. Matthew Duncan and company. And the tush push works. We've got the first down. Oh, Cardinals got the somebody, first down. Oh, and, two heads got knocked off. Well, no, two helmets, Marcus, not <laughs> oh, heads. Oh, the, the heads are still attached to the bodies out there, but you're – Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Oh, my, is right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Trinity Valley got that first down. There was no way they didn't. And now they need to really bring the chains out if there's any doubt whatsoever. It's almost touching the one. The ball is almost touching the one. Well, I can tell you from here he's got it. I just go to another tush push right here. And well, I I don't know, know, Benny I, doesn't watch very much NFL football because he was unfamiliar and silent when I said the tush push. I but was. I, I that, that is something that the Philadelphia Eagles have uh, patented, and everybody in the NFL fears it because they can always score when they do the tush push. And you saw the tush push right there, Jeannie. That's what they call that Okay, play. well, I, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to explain it to you because yeah. I got silence and I figured, <laughs> well, Benny don't watch much uh, NFL yeah, yeah, football yeah. anymore. He didn't want so. nothing to do with tushes. I can't believe they're going to mark their – this may not be enough for a first. Uh oh, it ain't. Look at them. Yeah, well, hold up. Like, they got a. No, they're short. Well, they haven't even stretched the chain properly. What a goal line stand for the Navarro defense. My goodness. Wow. Well, I don't like the tush push now. <laughs> Man, what a lift that can give the Navarro College offense. I, I tell you, I still. I can't believe that one. The ball is spotted inside the two yard line. That box was on the, the two. Wow. Or a little bit inside the two. I'm not so sure that wasn't a first down. I, I just don't. I just don't know what's going on. That chain. Something's wrong with it. 
Well, I'll tell you what. There's some linkage, extra linkage in there or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, but it, yeah. uh, I don't agree with that. That's a little magic trick, they call them. Well. Extra link in there. Now, one. Trinity Valley's defense will have to have some magic right here. Well, the Navarro and the Navarro offense magic. will have to have some magic because they're uh, – pinned at their own two-yard line. And don't really have a running game they can lean on other than Dane Yinch. I'm pretty sure they're going to go for the pass, regardless. That's all they've shown us. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to move that uh, front three up there for Navarro, and they put their linebackers up there, too. That's a lot of beef up there to move. And, you know, Trinity Valley hasn't been very successful up the middle all day long so right, far. Right. Where is the beef? There it is. And now Yinch. McCoy in the backfield on the left side of Yinch. And got to watch the tight end on the left side for Navarro here. Well, it's going to be a handoff. And McCoy gets it out to close to the four-yard line. There's Whoa. a scramble for the ball. I think they're going to stay down by contact. He gets about two yards on the play. That'll give him a little bit of yeah, breathing that, room that, before that, the Navarro offense. And that was the, probably the third running play right there. I think it's safe to say, though, Navarro's going to go to the air. I don't think they're going to try to run it out from down there. 11-21 left to play in the first half. It's your Trinity Valley Cardinals still on top 10-6 to and a close one here at Bruce Field in Athens. Dane Yinch, the quarterback, is going to go three wide to the left. Tidy had lined up on the right. This is going to go something to the – try to go to the running back, and there's a little spot. Oh, my. What a grab. He oh, a my grab. goodness. I can't believe he caught that football, but that was a nice grab there by you number 88, Sean Brown. How did Chase Canada not come down with the interception? That's what I was thinking. I thought he had the interception, but he lobbed it in just right. Navarro threatening to go on about a 99-yard drive here. Now Brown looked like C.D. Lamb on that play. <laughs> yes, he did. And just like that, Navarro's out of uh Yeah, they, they had the ball trouble. almost at the one-yard line. It was just across the one, so I guess officially it wouldn't be a 99-yard of course, the Cardinals hope it doesn't come to that. Be officially probably a 98-yard drive, I believe. McCoy yeah, I on the so. run, nowhere. He's stacked up by a host of Cardinals. And David Tuahala and NAA on the tackle initially oh, for Tui. the Cardinals. That's the Tua. It'll be Tua with 52 tackles for the day. To Navarro's credit, they really haven't been phased today when they haven't picked up anything on first down because Yance has been so, so valuable in the pocket and throwing the passes at this – Second long really doesn't affect them. Yeah, second long, third long, it just doesn't phase them at all. And that's confidence right there. Back to pass, Yinch. Looks middle, gets his receiver. That's Brown again on the reception. It's be third down in about three. So Brown and uh, Yinch developing a little rapport here in the first half with each other. Chance, chance for the Cardinal defense to get the Navarro off the field. I tell you, the Cardinals need an interception really bad. Thunder. In the first meeting between these two teams, there was three picks thrown by Dane Yinch and not nothing so far. So He's both been... quarterbacks making sure they keep a hold of the ball in their possession. Yinch back to pass. Surveys the field. He's going to have to step up and run. Got a lot I'm of green on. there. And Yinch to the 35, he'll have that first down for the Navarro Bulldogs. That's Reese, so effective and so good as the quarterback with his legs. There's no, there's no surprise he's leading the Bulldogs in rushing. And, you know, he's just smart because he right. knows that everybody's flooding his right side of the field, and he knows no one's on the right side of the field for Trinity Valley, so, so that's an yeah. easy first down. So just use my speed. Yeah, if you need three or four, yeah, he can get it. He recognizes everybody where everybody's at on the field, and that makes him even more dangerous. This drive started from just inside, just inside the Navarro two-yard line. Going from the pistol here, and I hand it to McCoy. Oh, they didn't. They the inch Whoa. kept it. Oh my, he fooled me on that one. They got me on that one. That's a big loss of four yards. Young man from Van, Texas, makes the tackle. Yeah, Erstein. So second down now. And they're going to say he lost three, so second and third, 13 to go for I, the Bulldogs. I guess actually he's from Canton, Texas, but he played football at Van High School. Yeah. Okay. So chance, chance with the Cardinal defense, second and long. But like we said, this really doesn't phase Dane Yens. Mm -mm, not at all. Yens calls for the balls. Hands off this time to McCoy. 
Oh. And McCoy is pelted. I mean, absolutely pelted there. Yeah, he was McCoy. Chase Canada there. I think that's pulled him. Pull, yeah, pull him. That's what it was. Man. Third down and seven for the Bulldogs. 7.33 and counting to left in the first half. The Cardinals up 10 to 6. And it just looks so poised back there. He's it does. Like we've seen a little pressure, Joy. A little pressure coming. They pick oh. it up. Pass downfield. Oh, a nice defensive play made right there. Yes, sir. Sean what? Connor. Yes, Mr. Sean Connor. Connor, 007 right there. <laughs> there it is. Cardinal oh, defense. flag, y'all. I see a flag. Well, if there's a flag in the backfield, you know what that is. Not the Offensive pass against, interference. Yeah. Oh. They should decline that. because Absolutely. There shouldn't be no question here. You decline this. You don't give the ants another throw. Right, of course. <laughs> Yeah, it was an incomplete pass, so that, that'll make it fourth down. And I pity the fool who accepts that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you pity. Man. They'd have to answer the Poe on that one. That's right. You had to go talk to him a little bit. Yeah, Navarro will bring the punter out on the field. so With a little assistance. See if Crosby can set the Cardinals up. Cardinals have been blessed with field position today at times and haven't done a lot with it, so too. Yeah, that last one. I mm. Been in the red zone several times, didn't, you know, didn't. Put no points on. So but, you know, hey, I, I, that, that fourth down, that last fourth down on that last try for Turney Valley, I, I would have had a win for that also. I mean, I would have thought that we would have Oh, absolutely. I don't, I don't question the call at all. Ingle right there with a the kick and a oh, high good. spiraling kick will be fielded at the Ooh, 19. Fair caught about? at the last moment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very last moment. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Jaden Jones was flying downfield for Navarro and – Crosby's asking, oh was there not interference? He, what he, no, he, he, he called it for a catch too late. Though. Yeah, it was really too late for yeah. it to be interference with the opportunity to catch right, exactly. the ball. So, I mean, you can't do it there within no. a tenth of a second. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get hurt. <laughs> Cardinal offense trots back out on the field. Uh, Thompson back in at running back for the Cardinals. So, Thompson comes in. Robert Allen's a man over the ball today for the Cardinals at the center position. Number 65. 81, Gandy checks in also for the Cardinals. Haven't seen the tight ends in play coming to play today for the Cardinal offense. No, not at all. He, and he's going to be a double tight end set here to the right. So. And that's going to be oh. five yards. Yeah, oh. The flag. oh, yeah, flag just threw up. What was that? I Man. think the official just got pounded in the ribs by <laughs> one of the Verrill's defensive linemen. He was a big one, too. Kyron Curtis. But you don't want to start off in a first and 15 hole. From but that's where the they're 20. going to start, though. It is. So 10 to 6, 7 3 left to play in the first half and a close one. Navarro has had an PAT block today and they've missed a field goal. So there's the difference in the game right there, those that's four it. points. That's right. First down and 15. Going to be a handoff to Thompson. Thompson has a little room. Okay, Thompson. Close to getting back to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be a gain of three, second and 12 up and coming for Trinity Valley. Great stop by Charles Daniels. Cardinals into the pick of a couple of first downs here to flip the field. It's going to be a pass play here. A little flare out to the backfield to Quincy Thompson. Oh, Ooh. my goodness, Thompson delivering punishment. Ooh. He gets to the 25, 26-yard line, I believe. Bring up third down and four for the Cardinals. And a very manageable third and four also. I like that play call right there. <laughs> he ran mad with that one, Joe. 6.24 and counting, the remaining in the first half. So Thompson. Vera playing, not playing too deep with their safeties. Guard the middle of the field. Peace is going to have to get rid of this football or run it. Peace finds a receiver downfield, throws downfield. That's going to be oh, pass interference. Flag. What a flag. There it is. Oh, that's going to be a flag. And that was a great route right there. Palomo. The side judge called it. The back judge did not call right, it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the back judge was like, oh, well, no. Well, they're, they're having a conversation now about it, but he can't influence that call. I hope not. They're not going to pick this flag up, are they? Yep. Oh, they picked it up. Oh, Poe is going to lose it. Uh-oh. Here we go. I, I may lose it, too, with him. Let the game begin. Why do you come and <laughs> overrule that? I, I, I don't understand that. That makes no sense whatsoever. Wow. But it brings a fourth down for the Cardinals, though. Clearly pass interference there on the call or on the play. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like Poe. Give me an explanation up yeah. here. Well, I take my that, shoes. That, that off. just that don't sit right with me at all. Yeah. That'll definitely make you take your shoes off, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That, that Poe did a little uh, 360 there. Uh, also, he's livid right now. I don't blame him. I would be, I don't too. think Poe realized at first they had waved off the call. No, I, I thought he was celebrating because they got <laughs> it, and, and then the, he saw what was going on, and he just uh, he got lit. Chance for the Bulldogs. Well, you got Bull, a punt. Uh -huh. Bulldogs get the ball to start the second half as well. So like Trinity Valley the the doesn't six have enough two. people out there. Wow. There's a big gap between the center and the guard there, but that's by design. Allen's punt is a low line drive. Fielded at the 25, has a wall around the right side. Still on his feet, and they're going to get good field position. Yeah, Burns this took return. that return from the 36 yard line down into the Cardinals into the field, and there's going to be some late. Yeah, they're going to get on out the way. Late contact across the way. Get on out the way. Cardinal D off deep. Cardinals need to stay on their sideline, though. So Burns with a nice return there. Well, I tell you. A call like that in this type of game mm, just mm, it, oh, it just has a bad taste in your mouth. I'm I, telling you. Jeez. But they can't all go your way, I guess. Navarro's going to start at the Cardinals' 43-yard line, first and 10 with 547 left in the first half. Cardinals up 10-6. Yeah, and they could get uh, some points out of this pretty easy. And they get the ball to start the second half. Wow. The Cardinals really need something big right here defensively. And Cardinals have had chances, though, I guarantee. Yeah, and, and they've done good keeping Navarro two six points here in the first half. Right. But how long can that hold up? Well, we saw in the last game that these two played, Trinity Valley in the second half took away with it, took away the game. And this is going to be a handoff to McCoy. And McCoy has stood up. After about a four or five yard yeah, game. Picked up about five yards on the play. Yeah, Lamon Henry the second with the initial hit. I can't four actually. Bulldogs be in no hurry, of course, because they know they get the ball to start the second half. So right. as long as they get points on the board, they have a chance to score twice before the Cardinals touch the ball again if they play it right. Yinch. Up to backfield. Back to pass. Yinch looks downfield. Yinch is going to have to run. Oh. Yinch is away from one defender and slides down. This will be a flag. Yep. yep. This yep. will be a flag. He gave himself up, and you can't hit him when he gives himself up. Davion Scott going to be the uh, the person who committed the infraction yeah, for bad, bad decision. It's going to cost him 15 yards. Move the ball down inside the 15-yard line. And it's just, you know, everybody wants to hit the quarterback and take the quarterback out, but can't do it no more. Like Times have changed. Yeah, times have changed now. Into Davion Scott's defense there, it was kind of a bang-bang play where he was already going towards the quarterback and he Oof. slides at the last minute, and that's just kind of – that's hard, but uh, you got to lay off. Yeah, that hurt. Ball at the 18-yard line, the Cardinals into the field. 454 and counting to go in the first half. Thomas in the backfield beside Yinch. Man in motion. Going to be a little quick hitter there. Mm. Going to wrap up. I'm, I'm just going to say that. That's Luke Ferguson. and You can't arm tackle. Ferguson, that's Grandview to Grandview right there. Navarro going up tempo here. You got Scott with the tackle, but hey, you got to wrap up. So, Yinch, second down and two for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs in the red, red zone. Ball at the nine-yard line. Three wide receivers for Navarro. Going to be a handoff to Thomas. Thomas around the right side has the first down for the Bulldogs. Using a little bit of this clock up also. Kobe Kendrick Kobe makes Kendrick. the tackle. Yes, sir. Colby Kendrick. Oh, yeah, if you're Navarro, you're in no hurry, absolutely no hurry. No. you got control now. You don't have the scoreboard to control, but you're, you're, you're in the process of taking control. Right? Yeah. And of course, they can just, like you said, slow it down, run this clock down, and try to get in that end zone. First and go from the seven. They'll take all the time in the world to try exactly. to get this in the end zone. 
Yeah, and if they do score, that fourth down play looms large for Trinity Valley. They didn't make the first down on that last drive. It's going to be a handoff. Nothing doing there. Oh, sir. That's first carry for Asa Osborne out of Denison, Texas. Coy Casey in on the stop along with number. Look like Earth guy. Yeah. Osborne, a Oklahoma State University transfer. If you're the Cardinal defense, though, if you know if you hold them to a field goal here, you, you can That's still you exactly. still have the lead. That's right. We'll try to hold them for us. Let them go in with a one point. I think Yance will run, use his legs here at some point on this. Almost definitely. Fake. Well, things get tougher right here when you're inside that 10-yard line. Everything's smaller. Second down and goal now for Yinch and company. Yinch looks right, looks left. Here he goes. Going to have to run. Taken down at the eight-yard line. Pulling him. Pulling him with the touch. Okay. Tell so, by the hair. <laughs> I was say the hair. <laughs> I wonder how you said the call. I was like, hold on, boy. It's by the hair. There you go. Got an offensive lineman down on the field to play well, for. Well, Joey has always – I'm sorry. Joey, Joey has always said he reads body language. <laughs> yeah. I go for other <laughs> You the hair. Hair. Do the hair, man. Yeah. Now that everybody's hair looks the same. <laughs> not everybody's. Well, yeah, not everybody's. Yeah. Marcus, he don't have much. Yeah, I got a – Nor does Benny. A clean, <laughs> a clean haircut. Oh, man. Really close one here, and it, it's kind of looking like a, that first game that Navarro and Trinity Valley played right. here at Bruce Field, and we had a low-scoring first half, and we thought it'd be high-scoring because of the way the teams both come out playing and throwing the ball around, and now it's turned out to be a low-scoring affair. We're in for a halftime treat, Joey and Marcus, because the uh, bands are going to perform or do, a, I think, a joint performance at some point in a Veterans Day uh, showcase. I yeah, and happy Veterans it. Day to all the veterans out there also. Absolutely. Thank you for your service. Exactly. My dad being one. and That's, You're the reason we can enjoy today's like today. That's right, that's right. We've got a lot of vets out there, and we are much appreciative of everything that you've done and sacrificed. 222 left in the first half. Navarro has the football third down and go from the Cardinals' seven-yard line. The Cardinals up 10-6. to six. Navarro has had an extra point blocked and has missed a field goal today, or we would be tied otherwise. <laughs> yep, on yeah. the dot, right on the dot. Navarro kind of going with a tighter formation here. Look for the – Slant pattern here. Look for number 82 to be involved in this. Maybe trying to get Feeney involved left, but all day. surveys the all field, day. throws over the middle. Oh, oh, oh the interception was dropped. In a flag. Oh, that would have been In a flag, huge. guys. We got a flag. That's going to be holding right there against the barrel. Now, here's if you're, now if you're Trinity Valley, do you decline this to try to coax them into the field goal? Well, that was third down. Do you, do you take it and, and give the Yents one more chance? No, I, I, I'd make them kick a field goal right here or try that's, to. That's what they're going to do. Perez has already had one blocked. He said extra point blocked and missed a field goal. Yeah, missed a field goal to have one blocked. Our PAT blocked. Excuse me, I'll get it right. You got it. It's going to be a 25-yard attempt. So Perez out of the hold of Ryan Shackleton. Make it a one-point ball game. Snap, kick is up, and that kick is good. Just snuck in that right up right there. And well, we got a long so, time to get in the end zone ourselves. Well, I tell you what, we one have a one-point ball game. Ten to nine is our score, 157 remaining to go in the first half. Benny, Marcus, and I will be right back after these messages. Folks, we are back live, Bruce Field, Athens, Texas. 
Southwest Junior College Football Regional Semifinal in the 104th meeting between Navarro Bulldogs and Trinity Valley Community College Cardinals. Yes, sir. Navarro just kicks a field goal and makes this a one-point game. Get That's on a that. short get kick. On Trinity Valley's got to get it. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Great yeah. job by Scott of just batting just it out of bounds. Yeah, he punched was, it whoo. right out. You that was trouble. You can't let a kickoff hit the fig. Field. Well, you, I, I think you're going to have to bring your your return team to back guys up a little bit because he's been doing that all all game long, just little pooch kicks, and it's been effective. Wow. But not, not only does it take away your chance for a run to return, but it puts you in jeopardy of losing possession of the football. Exactly. How big would that have been there if Navarro uh, had fallen on that? I think he need to talk to them guys huge. and say, hey, y'all, get on that ball. Don't just – now, if you're the Cardinals, Joey, how how aggressive do you get here in the final 152? Do you go try I, to go get I, something? I, I think you got to go get something right here and not leave them any time. Because you try. know Navarro gets the ball to start the second yeah, half. Yeah, you, right. you've got to get points, whether they're three exactly. or six here or seven. That, you got to get points. It's Cardinals imperative. have left some points on the field today. Go for the gusto. Rayshon Mumphrey in the backfield. Peace rolls right, looks right, throws right, short, incomplete. Poorest pass he's thrown today. Yep. Well, and he was he, he didn't set the the great passes he's had today. He said he's had time to set his legs and throw, and that time he's moving, and uh, it was kind of hard moving, when, especially when someone's you know after you, around your backside, and then throwing off that. Uh, Left foot there. Just didn't have any momentum there to throw. But the Cardinals are risky here as they keep oh. keep the clock stopped. Passed oh. again. Yeah. Oh, my true. goodness. The Cardinals what? are stopping the clock, and Navarro's got three timeouts left. So, Navarro's going to – if they can get a hold here, he's going to have three timeouts left to move the final, final 115, 120, and have a chance to go into the halftime with the lead. Yeah, the Cardinal receivers have just been wide open, and Darion Peace has just been missing every one of them here. Man, they're just missing bad, too. He's got to control himself. If ever will take a time out of the Cardinals, keep the clock running here and do not pick up the first down, I feel. Peace back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws. Caught. Complete this time. And the run after is great. Now you're in business if you're the Cardinals. There we go. Well, Darius Fair with a big play for the Cardinals. James Ziegler with the tackle. They've got... Uh, Rayshon Mumphrey and Rayshon Glover both out there, and there's the pass to Rayshon Glover. Oh, and Joel, Glover was bad. hit late. Yes, sir. That an add on 15. Oh boy. We'll take an extra. It's 15. very, yeah. You know, to me, right now, I'll just go ahead and say this is imperative. The Cardinals score a touchdown right here. Yeah. I, I think they most definitely have to. And I, and I think it takes the win a little bit out of Navarro coming out of the, the locker room for the second half. You too. definitely go into halftime with the momentum. Right. Yeah. When you haven't done a lot since the first first few minutes of the first quarter, offensively anyway. So big, big penalty against the Navarro Bulldogs. Trinity Valley has it at their at the Bulldog 32 yard line now. With a minute twenty six left to play in the first half. Mumphrey in the backfield. It's going to be a little delayed draw. Mumphrey, just uh, nothing developing right there. It's it's hard to move that front three of Navarro. I haven't seen it done yet. No, they're they're just too big. So, uh, Neither team calling a timeout. Yeah, big man in with that tackle, Zachary Brown from Rowlett, Texas. So peace, probably going the air right here. RPO play. Oh no! Oh my goodness! It's a live ball. I, no, it's incomplete. Okay. Well, that, that young man's yeah, going to need some he, oxygen. Yeah, yeah, he, he, <laughs> he just ran for nothing, but he did right, though. I would have grabbed it and ran, too. Like that was, was that Brandon Henderson over there? Yeah, big number 90. Yeah, big Brandon Henderson. Well, I tell you, uh, Terry got had a receiver wide open in the middle of the field, and that would have been uh, Braden Guillory. <laughs> Coach, and, Coach the, they run out of bounds, son. I know you're yeah. tired. Carters are not in field goal range this yet. Peace back to pass. Blitz comes up the middle. Fires go. downfield. Has a man wide open. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line, and that was Jared Jackson. Well, credit Jackson for coming back and giving Darion right. help. Jackson Jackson will take it. You know, the past three games, he has been great about doing that, too. He's been so, sort of the safety valve for this team, recognizing his quarterback's in trouble coming back for the ball. This is going to be a handoff. Trying to get to the edge. Oh. Just, oh, man, I tell you, just can't do it. Sideline to sideline, the Verl's just denying everything. Yeah, Braylon Charles with that tackle. Cardinals using their first timeout. 
That was Mumphrey on the run. So, yeah, first time out charged to the Cardinals. They have two remaining with 38 seconds, so they want to draw something up right here. Yeah, I would have went to the air again, Joey, but uh. – yeah, and I think right here, if you come back from the timeout, you might see them go to the air mm -hmm. because the closer you get to that end zone, the stingier it becomes right. uh, for you to, to operate throwing the ball downfield right. uh, or in that end zone if you're uh, Trinity Valley, as we've seen the very hold today. I think if you're going to go to the run there, I might look like a quarterback draw yeah. or yep. something like yep. that, let the rush come, come in. So we'll see what happens here after the timeout. 38 seconds left. Been a great ball game here in the first half so far. We've got Top Powell warming his leg up on the sideline. We've seen the Navarro defense have a great goal line stand inside the five-yard line there in this quarter. Yeah, and we've seen uh, Navarro hurt themselves with penalties, and then Trinity Valley hurt himself offensively to not be able to gain the first down in short yardage situations. So all that will be talked about at halftime, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> 38 seconds left in this. First half. Watch this left side of the field right here. Well, Thompson's going to oh, get the run. No. He's gonna That's a surprising call. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't well, know. You had one-on-one -on -one coverage out to the far left side of the field. Jared Jackson and, and no safeties over the top there. That's a great call for a, a slant pattern there. From there, it would be a 37-yard field if the Cardinals don't make another yard. Yeah, that's, this may be what they're playing for is to get in field goal position. But I, I still think you got to push it downfield a little I, bit more. Yeah, I think they're being very conservative and cautious here. They don't want to turn the ball over, obviously. But I think you got to give you got to get, give somebody a chance to make a play. You got yeah. to. I still like when those safeties are sucked up like that and you got one-on-one -on -one coverage to the outside, maybe audible, audible to a slant call right there for the receiver. And, and if you can beat him on the inside, you've got the ball. That's We've that. seen the Cardinals pick up two third and longs on this drive, however, so yeah. let's see if they can come up with a third here. They've been magical on third downs for this drive, for sure. I would think Navarro's bringing pressure here, though, from somewhere. Darion so, better keep his head on a swivel. Yes, sir. Have Caleb Johnson now. He'll get double coverage on the outside, I believe. Rush is coming from the edge. Come from the edge. Peace has a man open, throws downfield, back turn. This should be interference. Yep. Oh, my. What? I can't believe that. His back was turned the whole time. Oh, know. my goodness. Hmm. Wow. Well, Crady Navarro with a good getting his stop. It's up that to was, Powers to try for a 37-yard field goal. Well, Darius Fair was wide open right there. And, uh, well, you know, after he got uh, overruled last time, I don't blame him for keeping the flag in his pocket. It's <laughs> embarrassing. <Right. laughs> you know, I'm not going to throw it again. Like, well, yeah. Keep, keep it in my pocket. Powers for 37. See if Ty Powers can do it right here. Earl trying to come after this one, it looks like. Powers kick is up. It's long enough. I believe it sneaks in. It does. It's good. There we go. Trinity Valley with three points, and they needed that point. At, they need those three points after that drive right there. So 13 to 9, our new score. So four point lead for the Cardinals. 14 seconds left. There's still a little time to do something if you're in Navarro. And. Boy, especially if you get a good return right here on the kickoff, it could leave one play for the Dane Yinch to throw it downfield. Mm. So 13 to 9. <laughs> 14 seconds left in the first half. And what a game, Joe. Yeah, what a game. I, I, what a man, game. I tell you, it's our predictions got my nerves, so bad, man. Though. I tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our predictions are so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did say 24 21. We're close yeah, to that. Yeah. But I have a feeling that things might open up in the second half as it did last time that these two teams met. Yeah, yeah. But if you're both teams, you can look at opportunities wasted in this first half. Navarro's had oh, missed, yeah. has left four points on the on the field in the kicking game itself, mm -hmm. and the Cardinals had the ball inside the five yard line and didn't get a score, and, and then got the uh, punt muff and only got a field goal out of that early in yeah. from the eleven yard line. Yeah. So. Trinity Valley left six, seven points out there as well, guys. Yeah. And you know as well as I do, he, every point is precious right now in this uh, conference final matchup here, semifinal matchup. Power's doing the kickoff on this time. Oh, my. Oh, Powers said he wants on. So, Ty Powers will tee it off. Powers with a nice kick, directional kick. It's going to be a little return here, but the Cardinals have it snuffed out. Oh, they do indeed. Yeah, that was uh, looks like Burns on the recept or the, the kickoff return. Noah Fleming's on that tackle. 
So, yeah, good call there, Marcus, Noah Flemings, and that was a good kick by Ty Powers. Good, good, good. good kick. If you're Navarro, you just take a knee here because you've got to you get the ball to start the second half. There's no chance yeah. of risking a turnover here. You go right into the locker room and talk about things. Boom. And that they're gonna and for Navarro, they're gonna have to come out and get some points. Right. You know. When you got a quarterback with an arm, <laughs> you can just sit it well, up. I look for Coach McMillan to make some adjustments here at halftime as well. But so far, the Cardinal defense has played pretty darn good, guys. Oh, it absolutely has. Because in much of that second quarter, they play with their 50, defending 50. Oh, oh, there's a fumble on the snap, and Yinch has to follow on. That almost loomed large right there. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. And what a wacky ga game this has been so far, folks. But uh, your Trinity Valley Cardinals up 13-9 to at the half. We're going to take a break, and we'll see you right after the break and let you watch the bands perform. Drum majors, Rosario Garcia, sophomore music major from Waxahachie, Texas. Juliana Trejo, chemistry major from Colleen, Texas. And Sierra Walker, music major from Waco, Texas. Numero College is proud to present the Sound of Navarro Marching Band!
2023 edition of the Cardinal Regiment is led onto the field by Drum Major Caden Merrick, Marriage. Drumline Captain is Connor Wilcoxon. Color Guard Captains are Jessica Dean and Catherine Herrera. This afternoon, the regiment will perform America the Beautiful.
All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, the halftime show put on by the Navarro College Bulldog Band and the Trinity Valley Community College Regiment Band and a great performance by both schools. And speaking of a great performance, and uh, the Trinity Valley Band did a Veterans Day uh, honor, uh, and that was great to see there as well. So happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. Ready? We got uh, second half coming up. Cardinals up 13 to nine. Both teams had some chances, and uh, yeah. both teams didn't capitalize on their chances. But uh, all in all, though, Trinity Valley played a pretty good ball game, I'd say. Yeah, I think both teams. Yeah. Story second half, Trudy Bell will be kicking to the barrel. Mission break, and then you know the outcome. They went on to score 41 points. So hopefully we can get a similar uh, reoccurrence of what happened two weeks ago against this DeVarrell uh, ball. <laughs> Thank you. 
And that boy, that was a great play right there. See who that, is. that was Sterling Garten right there. Or excuse me, no, that wasn't. That was yeah, was Sterling Garten, Sterling. number thirty-seven. Yeah, Sterling made the punt return man or the kick return <laughs> man Burns do the helicopter. I'm trying to do it. Joy, I hate to start the second half on a sad note, but former NFL cornerback for the LA Raiders. Uh, uh, DJ Hayden has been killed in a crash in Houston. He played at Navarro in 2008 and 2009. Oh, wow. and it was in 21-2 and two in his two seasons at Navarro. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Our, our condolences. Yeah. I'm not sure that anybody's aware of that over there, but I'm sure someone probably is. But our condolences to the family, that young man. All right, 14-56. Now on the clock, Yinch back to pass. Surveys the field, throws, caught oh. incomplete. Oh, great catch. Yeah, and that was uh, Brian Spotwood. He he put that ball where yep. no one else is going to grab it except his receiver. That was a good pass. Corey Kelly had good coverage on the play yes, he and, and made a dive for the ball, but got there a little bit late. Right. Coy, the ball carrier there for the Bulldogs. Run down by number six, Reed Pulliam of the Cardinals. Gaining nine on the play. He's favoring that knee, I believe. But, uh, yeah, but yes, yeah, took off too fast. <laughs> that could be a, a big blow right there. He certainly don't want to lose uh, Cameron Blaylock. Yeah. So Blaylock uh, walking off on his own accord, which is always a good sign. Look to the side. We got a, the play clock up there now. You guys can kind of watch that. Thanks to our man, Aaron Scott. Of course, we got this injury timeout in Navarro with the football. First and 10 from the Cardinal 46 yard line. Navarro took the second half kickoff and has moved from its, about its own 25 yard line now out to down to the Cardinal end of the field. With 13.45 left in the third quarter, Cardinals up 13 to 9. Three wide receivers set to the left now for Yanch and company. McDonald in the backfield, or excuse me, McCoy in the backfield on the left side. Back to pass. Pump fakes. All no day. one there. Yanch is going to have to. Oh, oh what pass. a play. McCoy yes. alertly becomes the safety valve, goes down to the 30-yard line in the very first down. I'll tell Dane, you what. Dane Yanch is such a cool customer. Yes, he is. It's like he don't have no – Pressure, no yeah, sweat. no pressure, no <laughs> worry sweat. in the he world just, at all. Yes. And wow. McCoy doing a good job recognizing what was going on. Gets out of the slips out of the backfield, virtually uncovered. Navarro down to the Cardinal 25 yard line, 27 yard line. So first down and 10 for Navarro. Going to hand it off to McCoy. And McCoy, being patient, does get some positive yards there on that run also. McCoy with Casey Kelly with the tackle. It'll be a four-yard pickup, I believe. It'll bring up second down and six. Great start by the Bulldog offense. Turn it down. There's a snap. Looks right, throws, oh, pit, oh. tipped, and it's picked off. And guess who that is? Yes, sir. Cordero That's Pat. He had a, he had two interceptions. <laughs> he had one interception the last meeting and the fumble recovery, and now he has one again. What a play by Cordero Pat. And the Cardinal defense comes through. Goodness gracious. Hey, what a block, whoever got the block. <laughs> I didn't see. 
I'm not sure if it was Cordell Pat as well, but uh, he made another big play. I think North Fleming's with the t with the catch. Now, okay. if you're the Cardinal offense, it's go time. Yes, sir. Hey. No, Cordell Pat had the interception there, Marcus. Right, right. I'm not sure who got the who tipped the ball up in the air, but uh, we couldn't really see from our vantage point. But Cordell Pat again comes up big against Navarro. I'm a drinker of the back in the backfield. There's a quick pass, quick hitter right there. Caught complete, nice spin move. Caleb Johnson. Can't have about five on the play, Joey. Yeah, like, and I like these plays here because right. they're what I call quick hitters, yeah. and it gives your your quarterback more confidence here. Just like running plays. Now here goes Hyman Drinkard. Drinkard has the first down and running over defenders all the way to the 39-yard line. It took him a while as he ran parallel to the line of scrimmage, but then when he got his full head, it he found the lane, and he cut right up in there. Yes. Yeah, and, I, and I'll tell you what, there was an edge set on that left side of the Cardinal offense that time and great blocking downfield. He ran smooth over Todd Morris. Henderson got great penetration for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs going before down alignment. It's going to be another pass. Oh, ooh, ooh. caught and complete, but – only after about one yard, Lane maybe Odell. two. Yeah, Lane Odell was right there. Gilliland right there it. took the punishment. I, I don't like getting punished after a two-yard <laughs> catch <laughs> like that. No. But, again, a high percentage pass completion there, and you like what you're seeing the Cardinals doing coming out now. Back to pass piece. Good protection. Pass caught and completed for the first down. Now we're rocking the roller. So, uh, another so. first down, and that's Fair on the catch, Ladarius Fair. James Ziegler with the tackle. Big-time throw, but Darion Peace. Yeah. Andrew Allison checks in the ball game for the Cardinals, number 18. Peace and Yentz have both played well today at yeah. quarterback for their teams. Four wide receivers, man in motion is Allison. Going to be a handoff. Hyman Drinker up the middle. Well, Navarro's tugging that football, too. Yeah, they are, and that's a four-yard gain. We'll take four any day from Hyman Drinker that gets that big defensive front of Navarro. Exactly. Henderson makes the tackle with an assist from uh, Braylon Charles. Charles. Yeah, Braylon Charles. So, second down and six now. You just get that feeling right now the Cardinals are about to do something big here with this drive. They need to. Get up two scores on the Bulldogs. Three wide receivers right. Here's another handoff this time. Quincy Thompson has a full head of steam. Thompson, oh, my goodness. I think oh. he gave – oh. Hold him up. Oh, we got to do the something. The play's not over, or was it? That's why you play to the whistle sounds. Braden Gilroy, number 11, the Cardinal wide receivers, had a great game blocking downfield today. Yes, he has. And, and that sets up the running game. When you've got receivers that can block downfield, that sets the edge <laughs> yes, for these it running backs. It said it, too. We're just under 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. Cardinals up 13-9. to nine. Quincy Thompson in the backfield on the left side of Darian Peace. Tight end lined up on the right. Now, this is going to be a little quick out oh, here. Oh, not, it, not advisable there. Not advisable. Yeah. Break. I didn't like the play on that one. Yeah, live ball too, Joe. That was Guillory. And yeah, just whew. That was definitely a live ball, Joe, uh, yes, Marcus. Sir. Yes, sir. It's a loss on the play. You can't afford losses on first downs. Well, they're going to say I think it was incomplete. Oh, my. Ooh. I said, pardon, pardon me, Marcus. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Hey, <laughs> well, no pun intended. I'm trying to tell you. Wait, we ain't going to say nothing. Hey, they, we'll, we'll take that keep, one. Keep it like that. Navarro coach isn't, though. He's on the field. Oh, yeah. He, he knew what that was. Here comes pressure. Hand off to Drinkard. Well, the snap cost that play. Yeah, number six there from Navarro. Uh, Lane Odell just comes in untouched and was able to get – uh, Quincy Thompson from behind. And see, just like that, you got a third and long all of a sudden. That Boy, that, that, that loss on first down just, just kills you. Official timeout on the field is what they're saying. I'm not sure. I think there's a Navarro player shaking up. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe they're taking a TV timeout for us, but I'm <laughs> unaware. <laughs> <laughs> but he was an official's timeout. But it really hurts at Bruce Field that we don't have the, the uh, officials mic'd up. It, you get explanations. Yeah, you might think with this uh, $2 billion scoreboard they have here, <laughs> that they would have some kind of contraption to work like that. Oh, that's right. Eight minutes, 54 seconds left in the third quarter, 13-9. Cardinals still on top. Cardinals have actually been pretty good today on third down conversions. They really have. I'd like to know the com uh, percentage completion on that uh, or the percentage on their third down. 
plays is what I meant to say. Third down, Peace back to pass. Peace holding the ball a little bit too long. Now gets rid of it downfield. Has a man open. Oh, wow. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. It was there. Wow. And it was a great ball. That was Dylan Robinson. Got free. And well, Darion did a great job of throwing back across his yes. body across the field. Oh, my goodness. Man. Do you go for it here? Or do you? What do you do here? I think you got to punt him deep. Because Navarro has really been able to move the ball about 20 or 30 yards for your defense stiffens. You've got to punt him back deep and yeah, make, make wow. him the length of the field. I don't Good think there's point. any question well, James about it. James Allen's going to come on here, maybe a coughing corner kick. And yeah, I would definitely kick away from Burns. Yeah, and you've got the lead. You don't want to give him a short field. So No, you can't do that. 22 back there looming around Tim Burns to receive this punt from – the thunder from down under, James <laughs> Allen. From down, way under. Looks like Navarro may be coming after it. Yeah, they bringing a full house. Yeah, they've got there 10 go. coming. Just a end over end high kick. Fair caught at the six yard line. I like the Cardinal defense you know, but with 95 yard. Oh, there's flags flying all over the place. Woo -wee. Oh, that, that, oh, that. Like that young man pushed the official. Yo, oh, dude. yeah. Oh, he must be out of there. Uh, he's got to be ejected from the game after that. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're talking to the coach, too. And yeah, the Navarro coaches are coming across the field. they got to get their players back away because they're going to get themselves into more of a bind if they don't watch out. Nice job of the Navarro coaching staff of re responding to the situation. <laughs> yeah, you, it's, a bunch you, of noise, it's a bunch of warriors out there coming up. Yeah, you've got to keep your composure once again. And let's see what the call is going to be. Obviously, probably dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Navarro. Uh, cost, it really not a big penalty in the sense if you the ball is going to be penalized from the six yard line, it's just going to move it back to the three. Yeah. It, wow. Half but the but distance. It, so. But it does count towards an ejection if the same player picks up another unsportsmanlike contact. Yeah, exactly. And if Tavera loses, of course, that won't matter, but it'll carry over possibly to the it, next it, season. Yes, if, yes, sir. If, it, if, if the that player's, if it, yeah, playing. <laughs> if I was last so time. if that player transfers, I wonder how that rule affects oh, it. It doesn't bother him. <laughs> I guess not. So first down and 10 for Navarro after all that debacle on the sidelines. And Are they going to step off yardage against the car? Oh. The, the official's confused. He signaled against Navarro. Hmm. And now he's stepping it off against the Cardinals. Well, I'm sure. Unless they, did they penalize them both? What? Yep, that's what it is. 15 against the Cardinals and then, no? Well, they they never gave an indication that any foul was against the Cardinals. No, they it didn't. It was only Navarro. They, so that's, not, that's, that's true. Because the ball was at the six-yard line, I believe. So they've got to step it off from the six is what I would assume. Goodness gracious. I have no oh. clue. Poe's wanting, a, po, Poe's wanting an explanation because he signaled against Navarro. He absolutely signaled against Navarro. Yeah, and it, the, the ball was not at the 21 or the 22. Yeah. Everybody. I've totally missed everybody, something everybody here. Everybody it was a dead up. ball foul. <coughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct, but he's, he's, he's signaled against. Uh, now they're talking now. They're going to go well, talk again. They're going to have to do a Vinny Barbarino. I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I tell you, I, I I am I I am with him. I'm I'm confused too. I mean, the ball was at the six yard line, so if it was at the six, they stepped off fifteen to the twenty. Well, they stepped off sixteen yards to the twenty two yard line. But they signaled that the penalty was against Navarro, but obviously it was against the Cardinals. Yeah, I'm guessing so, but it wow. It has to be. Yep, it has to be. Well, I guess we're going to start up here with 8.33 left in the third, finally, after all that. But and not uh, knowing what went on. <coughs> I'm still uh, – Still? I, I don't – I still don't. A cardinal has been ejected from the game, so they're asked that, I think they're saying that there's a cardinal that has to be has to leave the sideline. Oh my! Yeah, not not really sure about that one at all. That's what they're saying. They're they're waiting for the cardinal to leave the sideline, I believe. Yep, that's what's happening. He'll have to miss the first half of next week's championship oh, game if wow. the cardinals happen to win. There's the handoff to McCoy, and McCoy 
A little scat back. Picks up about 14 on the run. You know, just the way the, based on the way the offenses are producing since about the midway through the first quarter, Navarro sh sh is, is winning this ball game, not, not on the scoreboard, but just offensively. Mm -hmm. But the Cardinal defense is making plays when it has to to get stops and, and turnover on the last drive. Yinch back to pass. Fires one oh, downfield wow. complete. Finally found the big man on the mismatch. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he is big, number 16 there. That's uh, Jackson Warren, 6'6", six, six freshman from Flower Mound, Texas. Transferred from the U University of North Texas. He's I a bet, tall target. Uh, I bet North Texas wish they'd have kept him out. <laughs> Threw it up to him. Bulldogs on the move at the Cardinal 40-yard line. So interesting, they're, they're trying to keep him on the field and, and get him more involved, it looks like. There's a little quick pass on the rub route. Came to about five on first down. That's Braylon Finney there. Now yeah. Navarro moving the ball. Cardinal defense back on his heels somewhat. Sniffing with the tackle. Sniffed him out. Had a quiet game thus far, yeah, Joe so has, far, so for, far. by his standards anyway. Right. Only two tackles for the day. 70 for the whole season. Three wide receivers set, one back in the backfield, McCoy. Just a little toss play. Maybe a gadget play here. Uh, that's going to be thrown mm -hmm. way out of bounds there. Yeah, credit Jarrell Washington. He didn't bite on that at all, the Cardinal defensive back. Yes, sir. Yeah, what a hit by uh, Terrell Riley. Brings up a big third down, but I would I would dare say the Navarro's in four-down territory right now. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, that play right there, Bulldogs might have just shot themselves in the foot trying to do some real trickery right yeah. there. It just I'd, didn't work. I'd watch Yance on a quarterback keeper here. Maybe a draw, a quarterback draw up the middle. Well, they're going big to the left side. You got Connor Kerrigan, the 6'5 freshman, tight end coming in. You got the H back and Warren on the right. Sending Warren out. There I tried to go. tell you. Here goes yep. Dane Yinch to the left. That's what it was. <clears throat> I think he got the first down, so. He's, he's across the 30, inside the 30, so it will be a first down for the Bulldogs. Fresh set of downs with 6.30 and counting to go in this third quarter. The Cardinals up 13 to 9, but Navarro is threatening. Right. Mm. You've had, it's been a big ask of the Cardinal defense today. Yes, sir. Yeah, it, it really has. I mean, so far they've stood up, and maybe you can bend but not break on this drive if you're the Cardinal defense, but we'll see. Dane Yanch leading the drive for the Bulldogs. McCoy in the backfield, and McCoy just stands straight up. There's the handoff to McCoy, spin move. Nothing doing. Maybe half a yard. Not much, though. Sniffing on the tackle. Yes, So we're talking about sniffing. Now he's got three tackles for the day. Good to see Cameron Blaylock is back on the field for the Cardinals. Exactly. Well, he left on his own accord a while ago, so maybe he just caught a cramp, you, you hope, and nothing too serious. But he's back on the field, so it probably wasn't anything serious. Second down and nine now for Navarro, three wide to the right. Keep an eye on Jackson Moore, number 16, the tight end for the Bulldogs. Yeah, he's lined up on the left, and there, there he goes go. downfield. Inch looks for him, and then – Changed his mind. Just sat down in the zone for the, the catch there. Eight-yard completion. Sean, Sean Connor. Connor. Oh. Yeah, Sean Connor's yeah. going to set up a second down and two for the Bull – third down and two for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that was 88 on the catch. Sean Brown again. Didn't see Sean Brown in the first game that Trinity Valley played against Navarro. So, he's had several key catches today for the Bulldogs. Watch the on the keeper here, third and two. Four downs, two downs to make the two yards. Going out of the pistol, Cardinals trying to show a little pressure, but. Yeah, Tui, Tui wants to get up in there, Joe. You just got to hope that uh, everybody keeps their assignments defensively here. And the play's going to go away from that left side where the pressure was coming. McCoy spins off a defender and still oh, wow. keeps trucking down the five-yard line for the first down. It'll be first down and goal now for Navarro. <laughs> That final run game is working pretty good for the 
Yeah, now now if you're in a well, barrel, you got to think about what you're going to do if you get the touchdown. Do you go for the two to make it a three-point game? McCoy again trying to get to the right side, stretches out, and he does have it. He hits that pylon with the ball, and that's a good drive by Navarro. Absolutely. So now do you go for two here if you're Navarro because it puts you up by three points? And uh, I believe they're just going to choose to kick the extra point here. Yeah, I don't think you want to start chasing points this early in the con. I mean, it's this early. It's 3.59 left in the third quarter. Well, I mean, yeah, and I meant the two-point would put them up by four points sure. is what I meant. But And this will actually give them a three-point lead. So Cardinal defense hasn't come close to scoring since that opening drive. That Cardinal offense, I should say, as far as driving in for a touchdown. Perez will handle the extra point once again for the Bulldogs. Kick is up high enough, and, boy, he kicked it on the high school roof, I think. <laughs> That kick is good, and new leader. we have a new leader for the first time. The Bulldogs on top, 16-13. to 13. You're watching Cardinal Championship football in the Southwest Junior College Football Conference Regional Semifinal. We'll be right back. Mm. All right, folks. Uh, so, uh, like Porky the right, Pig. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Porky Pig. Uh. Perez will tee it off after the Navarro touchdown. 3.59 left to play in the third quarter. Cardinals get the football here, and they need to put together a good drive and get some points on the board. A short high kick. We filled it at the 27-yard line and ran out of bounds by Davion Scott. So Davion Scott has the Cardinals with some decent field position here. They'll be starting at their own 36. Key for the Cardinals right now, they, they've got to get some rhythm going in this offense. At well, they times have, they show like they're getting going and then they just stall. Yeah, the offense has got to, has got to get it in gear. There's no question about it. It goes back, though, to those big guys up front for Navarro. Hard to move around. Right. You know, in, in – you just can't get anything going. There's a little pass out to Jackson, I believe. And there's a nice run after the catch. Glover and Fair, the wide receivers downfield with great blocks. Great blocks. So that was Caleb Johnson. There's a penalty marker down at the 47-yard oh, no. line. Wow. And they're going to get Trinity Valley for holding. My goodness. Yeah, sure, they're going to call that one, but they're not going to call the interference call. My <laughs> lands. <laughs> And you would know as a guy right there on the Navarro sideline, uh, the official. Mm -mm -mm. That hurts. Well executed play, you're going to be wiped out. I, I think it uh -huh. still will be first down. I'll tell you what. But the 10 yards is gone forever. Rayshon Glove is not liking that, Joe. Well, I don't either, Marcus. I, I'm, I'm thoroughly you're not put out at this you're, point. You're disguising it. No, I, I can't disguise it anymore. Disguise. I'm not even going to play like I like it. There's another quick pass, and that pass is incomplete. Well, I guess Glove was too mad on that one. I think Odell well, had great coverage on the card. Yeah, right? Odell was pushing the Cardinal receiver, Johnson, backwards, and it kind of ran into the play almost. Yeah, and it affected it. Johnson's going to have to to be more aggressive going forward to get, you know, Odell out of that play. Second nine, but the Cardinal offense has got to come through at some point the rest of this way because they're now in the de trailing. Little swing pass. That's Thompson. Nice block. Thompson has the first down. Oh Still my. going. Oh, my. 
Now that's I tell a, you, he turned the caboose loose that time. Uh, he a did. That's, caboose. That can inspire the offense, too, when you see a guy putting out like that. Tim yeah, Burns with the tackle. And you want somebody to just take over that's right, right now. It's time take to take a over. shot. It's Let's time, go. I'm calling it right now. It's time to take a shot. Most definitely. Hobbin Drinkard in the backfield. This is a nice play right here. You get it toss left to Drinkard. Now he's coming right. Drinkard avoids oh. one would-be defender and down at the 44-yard line he goes. Pick up about three on the play. Second down and seven. Yeah, I thought that wide side of the field that time was open more for Drinker. A little pitch to the left. And I don't understand. Yeah, use his speed there and just. Uh, oh, I just don't understand why you don't go to the wide side. I, I go to the wide side. Well, you're trying to play a uh, cat and mouse. Yeah. Drinker again has a nice hole. Drinker. Oh, boy, I thought he got helped grabbed by the face mask there by 32. Yes, sir. Bryce Shank. Yeah, yeah. Shank shanked him. Yes, sir. I'm trying to tell you. Shank and just on. like that, he brings up a big third down and five for the Cardinals. Yeah. So, peace now. Look for Navarro to come with a little pressure here. Now, Loman comes on the hash Here comes a here. blitz. A little, oh. little crosser route here. Got to get it away. Does. Incomplete. No call. Whoa. Fourth down. Wow. Number 17, Charles Daniels made that play for the Bulldogs with the blitz. The delayed blitz. Well, I know the Cardinals are going to be tempted to go for this, but they, I still, I think you've got to play the percentages and still kick uh, Navarro deep and maybe get a turnover deep in the end of the field, but they're uh, not going to do I, it. I think Poe said, no, we're not. <laughs> well, Poe didn't. I, have I'm with you on that, though. I, I have headsets on, but they're not connected <laughs> to Poe. <laughs> but I really think I, you're right on that, though. I, maybe they can get this one. It, this, is, this is rough. Rough to watch. Back to pass. P steps up in the pocket, throws one deep down the left side. Oh it's my, caught. What a catch. Oh, my. What, what a, a catch. catch right there. Oh, my. Number 17. Goodness gracious. Palomo with a big catch. And how about that throw oh. by Darion Peace. Big my time. Goodness. Big some, time. Somebody got run over the, on the side like the cameraman, I'm guessing. Well, that, that's oh, my. He some, got the way. Here's the thing about it, fellas. They're not in the end zone yet, though. Yeah. And yeah. they've been down there before. Right. <laughs> they, got to, they got to make it in that time. That looked like a... Uh, not oh. sure who that was, but he got. It looks like Michael Hannigan. He might have got pummeled. No, that's not Hannigan. That's the camera guy down yeah, there. Yeah, I know the camera guy. Whoa. He got. Uh, he got pummeled on the sideline. There's the handoff. Oh, there's a lot uh -oh. of hitting going on down there. My goodness. Oh, Ooh. slam to the turf. Both teams going at it right now. I mentioned it again. They're not like, in the end zone I was yet. Just, I was just say, they're not in that end zone yet, Joe. But they got to get in right here. This is a must. You got to have someone with speed right here, I think, and, and giving the ball to try to go to the corners here. That uh, the middle, the middle play is being bottled up right oh, yeah, now the by middle, the defense. The middle's no good. The Devero. Yeah. Maybe a play action pass right here. The tight end. Let's see. One one thirty two and counting to go in the third quarter. Devero's playing to stop the run. They got eleven in the box. Well, they got nine in the box right now. Look for the slant pattern right here. It's wide open. And they're going to run it. Oh, Darion. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I, you know, that was the short side of the field they were going exactly. to right there on that run. Exactly I, the you just, if you're going to do that play, you got to run it to the wide side. And One minute left in the third quarter. Cardinals 16-13 trailing the Navarro College Bulldogs. Had it first to go from the five. I'm from the one, rather. And now third and goal from the eight. Wow. Rayshon Glover, the inside slot man here. There's a crosser. Pass is caught. And a great defensive Ooh. play. Uh, the Navarro College Bulldog defense today has been the story in this game. Yeah, Bryce Shank with the. That was Stackhouse. 32. No, excuse me. That was Shank. You're right, Marcus. Yes, sir. You, you can't have first and goal from the one and not get it in. Wow. I mean, you can, but you, it's not recommended. Well, you can tie it up right here, look like. Yeah, but a 23-yard field goal is not what you're looking for when you had it first and go. No, 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 not at, not at all. One. Ooh, that, that's, that is so frustrating right there. The kick is up, and it is true. We have a new ball game tied up, 16-16. Oh. to 16. You can say 0-0. Zero to zero. 
Yeah, it's it's a brand new ball game, and yes, wow, I mean, three seconds left to play in the third quarter. It's going to go down to the fourth quarter, guys. Wow. And the problem is, is you watch the both the offenses attack each other. You feel better about what the Navarro offense is doing overall. Yes. Than what you do the Cardinal defense. Offense. There's not a lot of confidence in now. We had a because you had to rely on a huge play on fourth and five from the 43-yard line on the bomb to the one-yard line, and then you didn't punch it in. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, go big package, something. you you got to get it. You got to get some points right there. And Well, they got points, but you got to get the Yeah, touchdown. I mean, you got to get it. I mean, yeah, they got points. I, I think they just had to get that touchdown right there because you're right. Navarro's been moving the ball pretty easy. It's well, been a, certainly within the 20s they have. Yeah, exactly. I mean, more consistently than the Cardinals have today. Right. I tell you what, Navarro's run defense has really stood up right now uh, against Trinity Valley, just blocking everything that comes their way from trying to get in that end zone and just doing a fantastic job. Those are big boys, Dan. We've, I've <laughs> talked about it all all game long, but when I see meat like that then on the field, you ain't going to run between the tackles on them. No. Exactly. Powers so, to kick. Yeah, Powers out there again. His leg should be warm. There's a high end over end, but short kick fielded at the 16-yard line. Cardinals are bunched up. Cardinals are bunched up. Ooh. That's Spotwood down the right side, and wow. they're going to start off with great field position. 50-yard line. Cardinals got all bunched up in the middle of the field, Joey, and left that outside just wide open. Yeah, yeah, just no containment. They you know, needed to stay in their lanes going downfield and just didn't do it at that time for the Cardinals and – Boy, you hate to see it, but now you've got Navarro after that kick return by Spotwood set up a nice field position uh, for this drive for the Bulldogs. Wow. That uh, hurt my spirit a little bit. <laughs> hurt my spirit <laughs> Well, mine was hurt when we didn't uh, score from the one. One yard line, <laughs> yeah, that, I know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that, you just can't you, – you've got to be able to punch it in. It usually doesn't end or bode well for you if you don't punch it in when you got first and go from the one. Yeah. I mean, three points are good there. It ties the ball game. We've but seen the barrels stop the Cardinals on first and goal from the one. Yep. First and uh, first and ten from the 11 after the muff punt. It held them to a field goal, yes. Yeah. And then uh, the first and goal from the five earlier. Five, yeah. yeah. Three times, yeah. Yeah, if Navarro is able to pull this out, I guess the offense is going to have done, contributed, of course, but the defense is going to be the be – the, yeah, that hero of the game. Yeah, the front three, front four for Navarro would, would be my pick to be the MVP for this game because they have really just thwarted the Trinity Valley running game today. Well, there's no there's no two ways about it. Hyman Drinker's not even been a factor, and that's not picking on Hyman Drinker, but no. just, just the way the season's gone. He's been the big the big go to guy, and even even he has not performed any magic today. Yeah, I still think you got to get him outside though on the on those runs. He's 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 good between the tackles, but I think you got to get someone like him with his speed on the outside to be more effective against the Bulldogs. One quarter to decide it, folks. Yep. Here we go, fourth quarter action. McCoy is hit, stacked up, and racked up. McCoy Casey. And Initial Co hit there. And Kobe yes, Kendrick sir. as well. Yeah, Kobe Kendrick underneath. Little high-low action on the defense there. Don't, get, don't give up on the Cardinal defense. They've been known yeah, to make exactly. plays. And, and let's see what these guys do right here because you can bet that their hearts are in it right now. now that's just two tackles for Kobe <coughs> Kendrick when he has 71 for the, for the season. Both teams are going to be very deliberate while this score is tied like this. Yeah. So three wide to the left for Navarro. I'll tell you what, that far receiver was lined up off sides. They didn't catch it. Yanch will run for it. Oh, my goodness. It's just too much. Need a spy on him. Just need a spy. I said that from the beginning of the he game. He started his slide at the Cardinal 48, so that's where the ball is going to be marked. He actually went down about the 46, but the officials are correctly spotting us where he starts the slide. That's where you're down. Yeah, and a key third down right here for Navarro, but they've been good all game long on third downs. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't go for it as well, though, Joey, if they come up a little short. Yeah, you would. You one would uh, suspect that they probably would. I don't know that they'd throw a bomb down to the one-yard line, a fly pattern. <laughs> well, <laughs> seen a lot of crazy things in this game. I'd watch Yentz here on a quarterback draw. Yeah. Well, he's going to bring four wide to the right Got here. Got mismatch on the top side of the field. I see it. Yeah, the 6'6 six, six receiver, Warren. He looks at Warren, too, but now surveys the field. Oh, he finds Spotwood right in the center, in the seam, and he's going to go in for the score. Yes, he, he won't is. be caught. 
Uh, that was just great recognition yep. by Dane Yinch. He he read what the defense gave him right there. Yep. Seen Spotwood all alone and fired a missile to him, and Spotwood did the rest. Wow. And it, he froze the defense yeah, froze by looking left at exactly. Warren and then goes back to through his progressions and sees the receiver Spotwood wide open, and Spotwood uses his speed, and he wasn't going to be caught. My goodness. 22-16, and just like that, Navarro. Well, Navarro had the big fourth quarter as opposed to the Cardinals the last time around to pull out the victory. That's what we're looking at right now. Perez will tip the point after. That kick is up, and he kicks it on top of the field house. Probably good. It's good, good. yeah. So 23-16, penalty marker is in the end zone. Cardinal offense has no choice now but to answer. We got the answer back. A lot of time on the clock, but still, this will be the last one. Don't like that penalty last will quarter. be against Navarro. Will be a for, enforced on the the kick. Yeah, last quarter here. I mean, you know, you, you've got to get something going. You can't go back to that run. Uh, and, and listen, they've tried it all game long up the middle. It's just not working. And um, what, and you got to look at the other side of that defense, too. The reason it ain't working because those big guys right there are just stopping up the holes. And, you got to uh, find some way to get in that end zone because, Joe, like I said, on the one yard line, man, I, mean, I think I can jump, <laughs> stick well, yeah. my pinky out there and get that one. Yeah, I mean, you wow. got you to wheel your way in. Somewhere or another, and the Cardinals going to have to find a way to score six points with an extra point seven here. Um, if they don't, I'm not going to say it's over, but, you know, right now, Navarro's got all the momentum. Well, they absolutely do. The Navarro offense has been with great confidence, and you you would hate to get the ball back after a three and out here. That's the last – that would be so demoralizing. Yeah, and and if they get the ball back and then score again, it it could be Katie bar the door. But, you know, the thing about it is, as long as you keep it a one-score game, you've got a shot. Yeah, exactly. And momentum has shifted before. We've seen that, so – Hopefully it'll shift again here in the favor of the Cardinals. I was looking to see if New Mexico, New Mexico military and Kilgore are underway, but I haven't seen a score of this yet. Well, here's the big thing. That was a 15-yard penalty uh, for unsportsmanlike conduct after the extra point by Navarro, and they'll be kicking from their own 20-yard line. The Cardinals should re- theoretically start with good field position. But they've got to make sure they feel these kicks and don't let one of those get loose again on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. Like they've been, they've done twice today we've seen. They probably kick it deep this time. Uh, kind of like Sling Bay it makes my nerve bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's Perez on the kick. Oh, he booms yeah. it. My yeah. goodness. Best yeah. kick I, of the day. I figured he was going to kick it deep. Carlos, this is a live ball. It's picked up. Going to be returned. Oh, my. All the way to the 20-yard line. That's howling on the return. Ty Marsh with the tackle for the Bulldogs. Man, I tell you what, when you needed a kicker to step up right there, big Perez time. stepped up big time. Big time. And I I'll, mean, he boomed that ball. Wow, that's huge there. Yes, sir. I knew it. What's the Navarro coach coming across? Uh, kids trying to fight a little. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get everybody back on the sideline there. And You've got the leads. A lot of mouthing still going on out there. You know, if you're in the barrel, you can't get too cocky and say, oh, yeah, we got the game going and, right. and keep that mouthing going on. I mean, you still got to play football. I'm a drinker <laughs> to the backfield. Cardinal offense has got to go. That, that snap might have messed up the, the piece. Looks downfield, throws downfield, has a man, is caught. Caught at the 44-yard line. What a catch. Rayshon Glover. It's the glove, but we got to get in the end zone. Big play Glover right there for the Trinity Valley Cardinals. What a chunk by Darion Peace. Yes, oh, that was great. It started off with a bad snap. He had to get control of the snap and regain focus, and he fires a missile downfield. Yeah, didn't panic at all. Three wide left. Going to be a little quick out. Got to get upfield right here, and he does. That's Palomo. Palomo. Palomo Uh-oh. down at the 32-yard line. Yeah, official trying to grab got for his flag, yeah, I got thought. A little piss, piss. I believe this is going to be a Cardinal first down again. Now the Cardinals finding the rhythm here, baby. Good man. Three wide receivers right. 
Peace with a handoff. Here comes Drinker. Drinker finds a crease, makes himself skinny in a hole over the 30. Still going. There's a scrum going on, and the Cardinals keep pushing. And how about that? The Cardinal fans oh, are on up. their feet. Still, still going. Oh, my. my goodness, oh, alive. Oh, oh, oh. Told him on in there. There's no quitting that young man. Yes, sir. Boy, what a run right there, and what a hell of a game. <laughs> 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 oh boy! Hey, that Cameron, Cameron Handy, handy just he, made himself handy. Well, he came in handy. Yeah, well, he picks him up and yeah. he's helping the little fella. Yes, sir. First down and ten, ball on the nineteen-yard line. Cardinals driving, hand off to Drinkard. Drinkard again. Oh, well, what? Drinkard, boy, he was hit right there, yeah, wasn't he? Number he nine, Braylon Charles, had enough of that. Yeah. Oh, he Let did, Charles, and I think Charles knocked yeah. his old man unconscious there. <laughs> Both of them. Charles is going to leave the game as well. I think he, th he had to think about it, too. I don't even know if Charles knows where he's at. He, that was a hit. Gain of two. It was a tough two. And we'll take that tough two. 11-21 left to play in this one, and it's a thriller. Got to answer with the touchdown, though. Most definitely. Quincy Thompson in the backfield. Two wide to the right. One to the left. High snap. Wide gets open. Man wide open in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Thrown too late. It was Ooh. right there. Yeah, oh, my oh, lands. Number four, high, high Ty step. Marsh. Yeah. Marsh just high points that ball. Now oh, my goodness. It's a big third and eight now for the Cardinals. That high, that, high, that high snap threw him off just a little bit. That's twice now we've seen the high snap wow. come into play. Jared Jackson was wide open all by himself. Let's we'll see if the Cardinals can do it again. He was so wide open. Back to pass is Peace. Peace looks. Oh, oh no. it's picked off. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Number 32. Oh, my goodness alive. Bryce Shank. Shank just jumped that route, playing the linebacker position. He knew it was coming. Jumps in front of it, and that's not good. Stop me if you've heard this before. The Navarro defense comes through again. Yes, yeah. They yeah, they really have. Boy, talking about a, a, a bubble burster. My <laughs> goodness. Oh, with 11 minutes left in the contest, Navarro up 23-16 with the football. Well, what a great game. I'm telling you. Uh, it this has is been a great, great it's game. It's been a great game. Dirty Bird defense had to step up right here. Yeah, they, they got to really step up, and, and Peace has to have a short memory also. Right. He's got to forget about that turnover. When he gets his chance again, he's got to lead his field, team downfield and punch one in. Yes, sir. And with the defense right now, they've got to certainly hold uh, Navarro to a three and out to save some time also. But the defense needs to make a big play. Navarro will be very deliberate with his clock. The play clock will get down inside of 10 before they think about snapping it probably. There's the toss left to McCoy. McCoy weaving in oh, uh, wow. his way down to the 436-yard line. Corey Kelly with the tackle, but nine yard. Uh, How about this crowd on both sides, man? I mean, they yeah. are just pumped yeah. up yeah. on both sides here in the stadium. Yeah, this is an and you game. can hear on both bands playing. It's really man. had a big time feel to it. <clears throat> Winner of this game moves on to play the Kilgore New Mexico military winner in their regional championship game next week. Second down and nine. I mean, excuse me, second down and one after a nine-yard gain. Three wide right, handoff to McCoy. McCoy trying to get to the outside, squirts free and uh, dives forward for the first down. So, you know, after – uh, Navarro really just doesn't run the ball in the first no. half. They come yeah. out here in the second half right. trying to establish some sort of a run, and they've done a pretty good job of it. Right. Going to go empty set right here. Four wide to the right now. Cardinal defense needs to stop. Yeah, this is going to put uh, a linebacker here in coverage on this right. It's going to put David to a hollow A in coverage. McCoy going in motion. It's going to be the option play, and uh, that goes really nowhere. The inch to the 40, but like many said earlier, they're trying to work that clock right now, exactly. being methodical about what they call. But that's good for Trinity Valley right here now. Cardinals have a player shaking up. I believe that's number – McCoy Casey, number 40. You don't want to see him leave the field. No, he don't want to go. Yeah, he's going to stay in there and tough it out. He's – one of the leaders on this Cardinal defense. No question about it. And the game is far from over. Uh, we could see 30 more points or 40 more <laughs> points at this pace. Oh, I my. Mean. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, second down and eight. Pistol formation now. You inch the quarterback. Got three wide to the right. Just going to be a handoff to McCoy. And McCoy 
maybe gains two on that run. Cardinal defense has to get a stop here. You need to get the ball back because we're under nine minutes now. We're 848 and counting, folks, with Navarro up 23 to 16 here in the fourth quarter. Third down and six. They're going to hit him with a pass on his third, so they got to watch out. Yeah, and, and you know, maybe go to a play action right here if you're Navarro, but, you know, they, they've just – I'll tell you what, Yinch has just been a precision surgeon today with a ball in his hands at quarterback, and he's had a, a knack to find every receiver wide open. Watch the tight end Warren releasing from the line of scrimmage here. Cardinals need a turnover right here. It's going to be a little quick pass out to Brown. Brown is hit. Oh, my, he's got the first down and more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Brought down by Chase Canada. Yeah, Chase, any, Chase almost stripped them, though. Cardinal defense can't afford to give any points here, quite honestly, folks, no. with what we've seen from the offense thus far in the second half. Yep. Give a lot of credit to Braylon Finney on that because he set the block that uh, let uh, the wide receiver that time gain those extra yards. Man, on Mars, that was a good block by Finney. The only way Navarro could host a championship game next week is if the New Mexico military upsets number one Kilgore today. Yinch with first down. Just a little handoff to McCoy. McCoy, again, being patient, then finding a seam and hits it. Navarro's following the blueprint of victory right here. Yes, yeah. Six or seven yards on first down, keeping that clock winding. We're coming up on seven minutes left in the contest. They know any score of any type right here probably puts it away, quite honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so also, especially the way Navarro's defense has been playing today. You know, you hate to see it, but like we said earlier, it's hard in this conference to beat a team twice. It absolutely <coughs> is. We saw it last year. The Cardinals beat Kilgore during the regular season then lost to him in the first round of the playoffs a year ago. Cardinals go three wide. I mean, excuse me, Bulldogs three to the left. Yanch looking for a little bit more, and – that was a miscommunication on that route. Well, it will be interesting if it is Navarro and Kilgore for the regional championship next week. Navarro did defeat Kilgore earlier this season. And yeah. And Kilgore is only lost. So, so, you know, Navarro is capable of doing it, but then it goes back to that hard to beat a team twice. Right. And the way Kilgore looked when they played Trinity Valley, my goodness, they looked apart. Third down, four yards to go. This is huge for the Cardinal defense. Yeah, Cardinal defense has got to hold them to scoreless, though, I feel like. A field goal would be still too much. It's going to be a toss left. McCoy hurdles a oh. defender. He's close to the first He's down. Short. He don't have it. He's got a yard, yard to go. Oh, my. Now you've got a decision if you're Navarro. I, I think they go for it right here. I think they go for it as well, but, another, but if their field goal kicker – We've seen him miss one field goal from about 35 yards earlier today. Yeah, this would be about 44, 43 yeah, yards. There's no question. The decision's been made across the way. Yeah, they're going for it. If they get it right here, oh, I would, my. I would keep the ball in number three's hands if it were big. Oh, yeah, yeah. McCoy's lined up in the pistol formation behind Yinch here. They may be trying to get Trinity yeah. Valley to jump. I think they may be thinking they're trying to get Trinity Valley to jump. I think they're going to yeah. run a play. They may well indeed do it. Now they're looking at the left side. The game. Oh, they're, they're, that is going to be a timeout called by Navarro. They got it in. There's a penalty marker that comes in. Got the lead game. Yeah, a timeout was called mm. before any infraction took place is what they're saying. Oh, boy. Well, if you're both coaches right now, I mean, you're you're on the edge of your seat already, well, but it's fourth down thing, and if, one. If you're Navarro, you're going for it. Oh yeah, most N number yeah. one. If you if the if the worst case scenario is if you don't make it, Trinity Valley's got the ball. But the best no case defense. for that is your defense is still on the field. The exactly. Navarro defense has been the real thing today. Mm. Tell you those big guys up front, I just you just can't run on them. Oh, you can't. <laughs> you, you can't you, run on them. They're not, too it's, wide. It's not going to happen. Because if the likes of Quincy Thompson, Hyman Drinker can't make consistent yardage against yeah. them, nobody's going to make consistent yardage against them. So Marcus Adams, 6'4", 330-pound sophomore from Grambling via Grambling State University. He has been a run killer today. <laughs> now, he has been a run killer. If you're Navarro, do you, do you, do you, are you Riverboat Gambler here and play fake and throw deep? Try to yeah. ice it completely. Well, I still remember the time that uh, – 
Texas, Nebraska. You got the mismatch across the way. Yeah, you've got Warren, 6'6 six, six receiver. And you still got Yance's feet, so. Uh, I thought she was going to keep the ball. Yeah, I think Yance is going to go left right here. Yes, he is. There you go. Oh, he's going to go right. Oh, my. He got stopped. He didn't get there. He, he did, did not, not he, he get did, he there. He did not get to the line. He, he had, is short to the line again. He, he had, did not get it. He had to get to the line. I don't know where they're going to spot the ball, but he did not get there. The knee went down before the ball was reached out. It's the Trinity Valley ball. Trinity Valley ball. The Cardinals football, they've done Ooh. it. They've held. And now Trinity Valley has a golden opportunity right here to drive this football down the length of the field and put some points on the board they really need to get six points right here. They need to score a touchdown and then an extra point or go for two. That goes – hey, you go for two right there. Shout out for Joe Sniffin for sniffing that out. Oh, man. There, was, a, there was no question who was going to run the football there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just good. surprised me going to the other side of the field where the numbers were against him. Well, Keep in mind the wheel route. Yeah, there's – Wheel yeah. route to Hyman here. Hyman Drinker. They haven't done it so far. Ooh, this is big right here. You got one on one coverage to our near side here. Oh, my. Drinkard has a seam. Drinkard down the left side. Got a block. Oh, Drinkard down to the 40 yard line. That's a Cardinal first down, and here we go. Yes, sir. It is Trinity Valley Navarra football at its best. Highway 31 <laughs> rivalries. Yeah, what a rival it is. 104th meeting, and it's all on the line, baby. Peace back to pass. Under dress. Throws. Oh. It's caught. Oh, how did he catch that football? How did he get the ball in there? Oh, I don't man. know. He's, <laughs> he shot that in like He a was bullet. Merlin the magician on that one. Man. That was uh, Palomo there again, who's had a lot of big catches in this game so far. Had a great second half of the season as well. Exactly. 5.22 now. Second down and three. Do not have to be in a hurry if you're the Cardinals. You don't care if Navarro doesn't get the ball back as long as you get a touchdown and an extra point on the scoreboard. Cardinals going with four wide receivers, one to the left. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage to our near side. Going to be a quick pass out to Palomo. Palomo gets the first down and a little bit more across midfield in the Bulldog territory. Walk it, Palomo. Glover with a clearing block out on the edge. Yeah, Glover set that one up nicely for Palomo. Talk about Ty Morris. Who's been all over the field today? First down and 10, ball at the 49. Peace. Fires one to Palomo, incomplete. Mm. That was just too much right there. Yeah. First, first negative play in this drive thus far. Yeah, yeah and he just threw that in behind him. You got to get it in front of him right there so he can run the football. Throw it behind him. You know, that defender's going to catch up to it and make a play. And now you gotta you got to worry about – not telegraphing that play, too, because right. Trinity Valley or Navarro's already jumped one route today with the interception by a skank. Nice bubble route right there on the screen, but oh. doesn't go very far. That's Ladarius Fair on the reception. Down to about two on the play. Third down and eight. Big down for the Cardinal offense. Well, you got You yeah. got two downs to make it, though. You've got to be careful right now because Navarro's really chippy out there. Yeah, and, and I tell you, Henderson from South Oak Cliff, Joy, he's he's not letting no run go through there. Well, it's certainly four down territory, that's for sure. So maybe get half of it right here. There's a pass. Oh, a lot of room to run here. Trucks him. Hyman Drinker gets the first down for the Cardinals. The drive is still alive, folks. Mr. Drinker. Another, gets another big third down conversion for the Cardinals. To Mr. Big Playmaker himself, Hyman Drinkard. 4.08 and rolling here in the fourth quarter. Got plenty of time, plenty of time, no reason to rush. Oh, well, that play just didn't develop. That This is why you can't rush that. You know, you're in a hurry, yes, but you can't rush. Well, and the snap was not the greatest in the world no. either. It was a little fly, they, floater. They, they've had some problems with the snap here in the fourth quarter. Lost you, about five, though. You can't afford a negative play on first down in a situation like this. Exactly. But you've got three downs to make 14 yards. That's the way you got to look at it. Drink it goes out and Quincy Thompson come back in. Yeah, that 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 uh, backward stuff. Oh, yeah. Ten on the play clock. Four wide receivers. Navarro showing pressure. Coming to the left side. Peace has got to get rid of it. Peace throws it downfield. This is trouble. It's oh, caught. It. Caught by the Cardinals. Oh, He's going to score. Oh, my. It's Medlam him. Peace, Darion Peace. What a pass by Peace that time. Peace, Peace got it right in the money, Joe. 
Edlam here and Bruce Field. My goodness, what a catch. I don't know how Peace got rid of that football. Uh, like and it was a great pass. We talk about him on the run to the opposite side that time, but somehow he wheeled it in there. He just refuses to lose. 43 yards pass. Wow. Uh, the next question I was going to say, well, do you go, go for it? Do you tie it? But yeah. they're going to go ahead and elect go. to tie this ball game up with Ty Powers attempting to tie it up for the extra point. Navarro with two timeouts left. The Cardinals with three. Snap is good. Hold is good. The kick is up, and it is perfect. And we have a new ball game Woo. with 3.14 left to play in this fourth quarter here, 23 apiece. We're going to step away, get a drink of water. We'll be right back for the kickoff, folks. All right, folks, fourth <laughs> quarter action here at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas, in this regional semifinal Southwest Conference Junior College football game. The 104th meeting has lived up to Ooh. the expectations uh, that was put forth before this game happened, and no better rivalry than the Highway 31 rivalry with your neighbors across the river, the Navarro Bulldogs. Guys, Wow. We said this game we went through, ran through Darion Peace and Dane Yentz and, and the That's two defenses, and so far it has. That's it exactly has. the way it's played out. Wow. Talk about high blood pressure pills. Ty Powers with the Ooh. kick. We Cardinals got to do a better job of coverage here. They can't give the ball up to the 50-yard line like they did the last time on the return. Yeah, Powers needs to get a good foot into this one here. Powers with a high end over end kick. Oh, it takes a bounce. Picked up by Spotwood, and Spotwood is going to be hit and dropped at the 25, I believe. Uh -oh. There could be a – is there a fumble? Oh, my. I believe it's going to be ruled down. There's a lot of excitement going on out there, <laughs> as you would expect. Trying to will it to make it true, aren't you, Joey? <laughs> I, I'm trying to will anything I can right now. Now, guys, we got three minutes on this clock. Navarro, two timeouts. The Cardinals, Ooh, three timeouts. Nice. They're going to run the clock down, Joey, and try to get either a field goal or a touchdown. Well, so I, you I, watch I don't this. know if they're going to try to run the clock down. I, I think they're still going to go probably a little up-tempo right here and try to score pretty quick and then rely on their defense if possible. But I, I, I'm betting on the uh, Trinity Valley's defense. Watch the mismatch across the field. Yeah, they're putting out uh, – Cardinals have actually put out a new defender against him. Yeah, a little. I believe that's going to be 47 Trail out there. Trail Riley. Yeah, Trail Riley, a little bit taller than the other defender they had over there. I still think they go that route, that side. So here's Vero. Oh, my. Wide open. McCoy was wide open. And oh, Warren, my goodness. He called it. Hey, he doesn't have to go far to catch it. He's 6'6 with that arm span. He's about nine foot tall. Wow. This is good stuff, fellas. So, Navarro with a quick hitter on the first down. Warren with a catch all the way to the 46-yard line of the Bulldogs. 242 and rolling here. Left to play in regulation. Cardinals into turnover. Empty set backfield. They're going to send everybody. Cardinals showing signs of pressure. Here they come. Oh, what a hit right there by Tuahala Nene. Yay. Yay, yay. Goodness gracious. He calls. Pull him. Oh, pull him. Reed, pull him. Okay, my bad. My bad. I got excited. But Reed, pull him. We pull him. We pull He's him. had a big game today. I, I like the call right there. I think you got to do it again right here. I think you got to send the pressure. Joe Sniffin there also. Send the pressure and shout at the quarterback. Yeah, no, I, it, right here I'd like the linebacker blitz again. Send them both. Watch the mismatch on top. Here it comes. No, it's not. It's going to be a little quick out. Grand view to grand view right there. And hit and stopped. This will be the big third down and five of the day right Ooh. here. Oh, this is huge. Luke Ferguson there, one of Dane Yinch's trusted receivers and friends yes, to the sir. years. 214 and counting. We're going to be at the 210 mark, but less than that when they snap this one. So, Benny, do you think they go for it on fourth down? They're going to have to. No, I, I, I think no. they punt it. No, I, I think they punt, punt it. it. You hold them here, they're going to they punt it. You got an empty set backfield. 
You got to put it on your defense. One on one coverage. Watch the near side of the field here to Warren. Warren trying oh, to get. Mitch is going to try to take it and run it. Rich is going to go nowhere. He's going to be dropped at the 50. That's fourth down, baby. Daddy. If you're the Cardinals, you call a timeout. If you're the Cardinals, you call a timeout. Casey McCoy, Casey McCoy right McCoy, there. Cordoro Pat. My goodness, that is a big play and a loss of a yard, too. I'm surprised the Cardinals didn't call a timeout. I really am. That'll be seven sacks for McCoy today. Well, I tell you, it's quick. I mean, as, for, not for the day, but the season. I, I think they need the to Cardinals call a timeout. The, right the Cardinals here. may be content to go to overtime. Oh, wow. They'd never ask our approval for that. <laughs> 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 they don't care. They don't, they don't care either. Well, I guess they're like saying, oh, yeah, I'm guessing. They're gonna. That ain't gonna make me stand up too. Yet. Isaiah Crosby oh back deep. Can Crosby do what he's done before? Oh, there's a botch snap, and the Ingham gets it off. It's gonna take a yeah. If you take it over, cardinal over, bounce, I but it'll be at the 13 yard line. But here's Ooh. the thing about it: Navarro, Navarro has got two timeouts left, so they can make the Cardinals put, have to run a play down the field. Ooh wee! Oh, this is good stuff. But oh it, man, what oh, is? I guess that was I, I really play. am kind of surprised the Cardinals didn't call right, a timeout. Right, it's right. about 30 seconds there before the punch. Yeah, right. you got three there, unless they're thinking, let's send this into overtime. Yeah, they, they, so we can either go down, win, kick the field goal, and win, or we can go to quick but I, I'm all for winning it right now. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me too. You can't turn it over. That's the that, yeah, absolute right. truth. You can't have any turnovers, because especially right here in this end of the field. Watch that's, it. Drink it on a wheel route. Got four wide receivers now. Drinker in the backfield. Peace, your quarterback. Peace rolls to the opposite side of the left field. Throws downfield. Caught, but caught oh, out of oh, bounds uh, by Jackson. Incomplete. Oh. See, there's still 52 seconds left. Navarro can hit this ball exactly. back out oh. midfield. Wow. Yeah, you got to be careful not to go too quick here, right? Because now Navarro can call timeout after second down and after third down. Yeah, and that would make it fourth down. Woo. They could get, potentially get the ball with back with, with just a, with a second or two left. With a lot of time. I go Peace up the middle on the quarterback draw here or, or off, the, off the edge. Peace empty set. Looks downfield. Oh. Has a man wide, wide open. open. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He's got it at the oh. 50. Oh. Go. Oh. Dylan Robinson. He won't be caught. No flags Woo. on the field. The Cardinals with a walk-off, baby. Go. Oh, oh my, my God. 89 yards. 89 and a half yards, Woo. baby. Oh, wow, what a game. Look at that. Oh, my lands, but there's still 40 seconds left, guys. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. A thriller in Manila. And here comes oh, the a flag. Oh, penalty the flag marker. Uh-oh. I, I think they're going to get the Cardinal cheerleaders. Was that Dylan Robinson? Yeah, that was Dylan Robinson, number 16, with that big catch. Much worse than my conduct against the Cardinals. That'd be 15 yards on the extra points. Well, you, you, you had a lot of celebration going on about cheerleaders. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and the they were, they were, I think they bumped into the official, I think. No, my. Yeah, that's what he's pointing towards. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, what a guy. Oh, my. Well, man. That'll be assessed on the kickoff. That's huge. That's huge. Oh, my goodness. Somebody grab boats. Wow. Yeah, they're – oh, my goodness. Well – you got to be calm in something like this. Well, it's important to get this extra point for sure because if you if you make a dental D defensive blunder as like Navarro just did there, Ty Powers with probably one of the most important PATs in his life. Oh, a bunch oh. snap! Oh, Duncan's no. got to call the fire play. Looks down, throws down. Oh my gosh! Incomplete. Oh, oh, oh my good! An another bad snap. Oh man. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It all hinged on the snap. It just wasn't a good snap. And Defense have to hold up here. And you're going to have to kick off from your, about your 25-yard line, oh, too. Oh, man. With 15 yards penalized for the sportsmanlike conduct. How about uh, head athletic director Eddie Kite out there in the shorts today? <laughs> <laughs> He's braving elements, ain't he? Yeah. Wow. 
He's a prima donna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I have to put him in the tough man competition. But we've seen the bear miss an extra point, and now the Cardinals have missed an extra point, or botched an extra point, I should say. Yeah. Oh, this game is stressing. 40 seconds left. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 89 yard touchdown pass from Darion Peace to yes. Dylan Robinson. For, hey, the, for the lead. With 40 that, seconds left. This guy was by himself. But the Cardinals must kick off now from their own 20 yard line. And the, we've seen some of these kicks today. I think you got to squib it or, or pooch it somewhere, like back to the 20 yard line here. Right. Yeah, you definitely don't want uh, number eight with the ball in his hands right now. That's for sure. That, that penalty could be. Brutal, and, and not to mention the bot snap on the extra point. Yeah, that uh, that you got two things that just didn't work good against you. We know Navarro can move the ball downfield quick too. And Navarro has two timeouts left. So Powers needs to get a good kick right if here. I'm the Cardinals. I put it on my defense. I don't give it. Let the return it beat me. Powers, you done now. That kick will be fielded at the 27-yard line. Oh, a lane developed by Navarro. Oh no. Powers, the only one that could get him. And now, from behind, he's caught that Sterling Garten. Oh, my. Saving the day for the Cardinals, but not before the return. The penalty Ooh. was brutal. The penalty was brutal. It was. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 31 seconds. 27 yards. My, my, my. Two timeouts, Navarro. Cardinals missed the extra point. Navarro can win it on an extra point. I tell you what, this has got to go down as one of the greatest games between these two schools in playoff history, I believe. Oh, it's got to. 29-23. I've been around for a lot of them. I haven't <laughs> seen one like this. Cardinals up by six. A field goal will not do it. The Cardinal defense, when I say they got to come yeah. up big, they have to be <laughs> big huge. Yeah. Watch 16. Watch 16, Jackson Warren. Yeah, and he's the, he's the taller guy. 6'6", six, six. he made that grab while ago on that oh, last drive. Call timeout. Let's call a timeout. Yeah, they're trying to see the alignment here that they're going to line up in. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you do you, mm. uh, I don't know if you do press coverage on Warren or not because if Warren gets by you, he's so big, maybe give him a little bit of room there. I don't know. My nerves have taken over now. It's 31 is, seconds <laughs> left. This is an all-timer, folks. Wow. But if you're in Navarro, I'm flabbergasted. I mean, you've got 27 yards to score. The loser of this game will just feel gut punched. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gut punched now, and <laughs> I haven't lost a thing. Man, oh man! Coming up on two hours and fifty, two hours and fifty minutes of playing time today. Yeah, and it's been good playing time. I'll say that. It, I'm Still thrilled about this. Keep an one. eye on Brian Spotwood, number eight, and number 16, Jackson Warren. And, and hey, also, well, you got to watch 88 Brown. He's had a big day, too. And you can't forget number 82, McCoy, as well. You just got to watch them all. You got to watch, watch, yeah, <laughs> watch them all. You got to watch them all. Watch them all, guys. <laughs> I was just going to say another man. You got to watch the on his feet. Yeah, you got you to watch him, too. 31 seconds left. Both teams with two timeouts left. He inch back to pass. Yinch looks right, oh, throws right, right, has a man open. Oh, my goodness, alive. That was too easy. Braylon Finney with a back buster. Oh, we got a flag. 27-yard touchdown oh, pass. Oh, my. you got to be kidding me. The Cardinals still have 25 oh, seconds now. Oh, my. There is a penalty. Let's see what this penalty is. Ooh, Dead ball, man. unsportsmanlike conduct. I take this on the extra point. I take this on the extra point. Well, I think they had the option, too, to do yes, that. Yes, I would take it on the extra point. They need to miss this extra point. Right. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I, I think you do take it here on the extra point. You got to. I think they're Let's playing see. They're playing for the, the kickoff, though. You got to take it on the extra point. Let's see. Yeah, there's they're going to take it on the extra point. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, there's not even a question about this. He still may make it, but you make him earn it. Yeah, Coach, make it, make him earn it. Coach is trying to make the fans get on their feet and let's make some noise. This is be the equivalent of a 35-yard field goal. We've seen him miss from 35 yeah, already Yeah, we've seen today. him miss from 35. We've seen a blocked field goal already by the Cardinals. Whew. Special teams. Looms large right here. Perez. I said it before, Ty Powers has a big kick. Now Perez, it's up to him. Perez's kick. Oh. It's wide left. No, he made oh, it. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Got a flag. We got a, a flag. flag. Penalty on the play. 
Oh, no, this, and this is on Trinity Valley. It'll be even huger. Running into the kicker, declined. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 30 to 29. Well, the Cardinals have two timeouts left. They need a big return. 25 seconds now. Really scored in 12 seconds a while ago, so it can be done. Woo. Tell you what, both secondaries just uh, allowing huge, just uncovered catches. I mean, just body self. A lot of people are leaving, but you yeah. know, ain't no time to leave right now. It's <laughs> still a lot of game to play. Wow. Oh, for a missed extra point to maybe be the deciding factor. Oh, our, that, our, yeah. Our, our penalty, you know, against – you think somebody was got in the way down there with the official on the sideline? Oh yeah, I, yeah, that, that's what it appeared to be. But I, like I said, I wasn't down there. Yeah, I don't it know, may but not be. We'll get an explanation on that. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see it. But man, what a crazy turn of events! Wow. Just when you think the the wind have left has left the sails of the Bulldogs, <laughs> it's changed back to the uh. Cardinals. Uh, you know, if they can get in field goal range right exactly. here, they can win it with a field, with goal. field goal. So it's only a one-point lead. You don't have to do much right here. You don't have to do much. Just get in, get yourself in field goal position. I think Perez forgot he had to kick the ball off. He just comes out on the field. He'll tee it off from a 35-yard line. Boy, I tell you what, Isaiah oh. Crosby on a return right here would be great. Maybe even kick it to Lamont Henry and let him rumble for about 20 or 30. Cardinals have been near perfect on extra points this season, having only missed one. And that, yeah. they, did, they, they didn't miss that extra point, but, yeah. but it was a bad snap that cost them yeah. the, the one point that may be the most important point of this ball game in this season. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Be interesting to see what Navarro does. So they let him have a chance for a return. Oh, it's fair a short it, kick. Fair, fair catch it. They're going to run it. And a nice return, but you take a lot of time off that clock. Eight seconds left mm. the clock. So the 41-yard line. Now I'd be surprised if Navarro's defense is not playing back around the 15-yard line here, the defensive backs. Oh, yeah. And here goes the sun. Yeah, and you got the receivers for Trinity Valley be looking up into that sun on right. pass here. So right. you're right, Marcus. That could uh, – hopefully it doesn't prove to be – but now Navarro's going to go deep. They're going to give up everything underneath right here. You're in good shape. All you got to do. You see the field go. <clears throat> yeah. You can get to the 35. They call timeout. They're going to think about that one, Joel. They must have heard you. <laughs> <clears throat> but Navarro playing in a prevent type defense and moving everybody back. You know, a smart thing to do, of course, but really. Let's th let's think about this. Where would you let – I mean, you let Ty Powers try from anywhere on the field. But realistically, you want to be – 55 in? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd be comfortable with 50 in. So, you need to get, I mean, the, ball, you need the, to get the ball to the 32-yard line. Yeah, I think the 32-yard line, and I'd be comfortable with 50. But so about look 20 at the yards. wind, Benny. The, bent, the wind has picked up. Look at that flag right yeah. there. Cardinals need about 20 yards is what you're saying in, 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 in 18 seconds. Well, yeah. his, his longest was 45, so. Well, now they had an 89-yard pass play a while ago. It, that turned out pretty good, too. You can't have a slow developing play here. No, it's got to be quick. you got to release the ball quick, get everything done quick, catch the ball, go to the ground, call a timeout. Theoretically here, I think you have four plays if you do it right. Uh, maybe three, Joey. I'm not sure about four. Well, I'm pushing the fourth one because I'm an optimist. No, it's taking too much He's time He's back here. to pass, throws one downfield, has a man defensive holding downfield. It's I mean, not called. My hey. gosh, Stevie Wonder could have saw that. Wow. Oh, my. Unbelievable. Like he had a shirt the whole time. Now you're down to 11 seconds. See, that play took, what, nine seconds? It, it, it took entirely too long. This, this could potentially theoretically be the last play of the game if the Cardinals catch a ball underneath <coughs> and don't get out of bounds. There's the quick snap. Peace. Again, well, all you got to do is get in field goal range. Caught at the 45. There's just not enough time. Now you have to go to the end zone. You got to go Hail Mary now. Yeah, that first play just took way too, too long. Too long, too long. Wow. And see, if you had that play first and another play just like it, you'd been field been, goal range. You'd been okay. Oh, my goodness, alive. Maybe you call a timeout right here. I, I would. I, I think you got to call a timeout. Navarro's going to, to talk about that's her last timeout. 
Oh, what do you do here? Yes. Well, it, it's pretty much obvious. You're going to have to go down field and hope for, to get an interference call, number one, or have another coverage issue if you're in Navarro where you just forget to cover the Trinity Valley receiver and give up an easy six. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen at this time. You might see once a game from each team, but you probably don't see two. And if you do, it's going to be a miracle from above. Well, this is the Cardinals drop. This is going to be one they ate them up for a long time. Yeah. Boy, I t it's eating me up now. <laughs> mm. I just can't stand it. <laughs> I can't even sit down. Well, I'm sitting down now. I, mm. I don't want to get a dizzy spell and pass out <laughs> on you. We don't want that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Well, you know, sometimes it, it, it just goes that way. Um, and it's not over, but no. it, it's, it's – it's, you got to get somebody to the end zone and just throw to get the rear the ball up in there and hope the heck somebody comes down. With hey, it. and they're not playing back, so this might be a good one. Quick pass here, timeout. Okay, now you could try. This would be about a 58-yard field goal attempt. Do you bring him out to try? What do you like your odds of? Woo! A 40-yard pass. Well, I, just, I just don't think I don't. I'm not sure Ty's got 58 in him. What about uh, Pedro Altamirano? Well, he wasn't even kicking off the last four or five kickoffs, so I'm wondering if he right. might have sustained an injury. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering, too. And he's kind of the guy with a probably bigger leg. I think he got to fling it in the end zone. Yeah, this would be about a 57, 58-yard attempt right here on a, at you, a field goal. You've been working goal. on a play all season for this just this situation. Right, right. Yeah, you got to let it loose. And Poe is talking to Ty right now. Yeah. So Poe saying, that yeah, Ty, that may be just a little bit out of your range, son, but as a competitor, you always want to give it a shot anyway to. Oh, man, you go to that first play just... of this drive here. It just took too long. <sighs> if you're the Cardinals, you want to make sure you're out on the field when he starts the play clock. You don't have to rush around and do this last play. No, definitely not. No. They're going to put their speedsters out there. Yep, they're taking it all the way back. It's going to be a three-man rush, so the card he should have plenty of time to throw it, theoretically. Maybe look at a little uh, hitch and lateral right here. You can't turn the – oh, no, this is not going to work out well here. The pass is caught incomplete. We need somebody behind him, though, to pitch it to. Oh. And it's fumbled. And then picked up by Navarro. That'll be the ball game. Congratulations to the Bulldogs for the upset victory over the Cardinals. It's hard to beat somebody twice in the season, guys. But uh, congratulations and kudos to Navarro, even though they're all coming to the stands and pointing at players and everything else. I, I don't like that at all. I, I just don't like it. I don't think you should do no, that. No, it's not a good look. I mean, they, then they ran to the, over there to the team. It's not a good look. Wow. Well, I, I, Oh, wow. It's going to be on. I, I certainly, I certainly say there that. It is. Uh, there it is. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, that's not. You can win with. You got to win with a little class. Yeah, you win with class, and you, you take the uh, CL out of it, and that's what Navarro's doing right now. That's what they are. They right. need to go to their side. Coaches need to put them on their side. Yeah, yeah I mean, you you win with class. You win. You won. Okay, that's great, man. But a victory that you've earned. That's a shame that you sometimes you act that way. Yeah, that, that's just classless. Well, folks, it's been a great season uh, for Trinity Valley Community College Cardinal football. Unfortunately, that'll end the season for the Cardinals and their run. Yeah, they go but, seven uh, and three, and uh, yeah. there's a chance, they, outside chance, they could get a bowl bid still, but, but yeah. seven and three nonetheless. Yeah, seven and three, and I know they're distraught right now, as all you know, all of us are, but they're more distraught than we could ever put into words, I'm sure. And it came down to one final point, one final kick. And, man, what a game it was here, folks. But uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off. But uh, thank you for being a part of this broadcast. For everyone who's been a part of this one, I'm Joey Snowden. For Marcus Tell, Aaron Scott, Benny Rogers, and Jonathan Snowden, bidding you farewell and so long to next college football.